coming from the rack store With this back in the Mac in the back flow Let's go, chillin' with raccoons by the back door Take all so you can stake more All I wanna do is making dough, right? But I found this crew and doing alright We wreck, will bitch, ready to fight So many raccoons ready for the boss life I might fly high like a kite, right? But always ready for a shite for the right price Raccoon supply has the right price Giving you respect if it's likewise So I'm buying all the mean guys with the clean heart Read between lies, laser bean through lean eyes Larry or with clean lies, trash mouth mean smile Be wise, NFT wise, fuck with these guys It's the rack rap from the back lab Hundred NFTs in my backpack Crazy rack rap from the stash app Rack will take a lead in this haystack It's the rack rap from the back lab Good. Oh, you know what? I don't even have that in me to do it twice in one day. What's up, everybody? This is Rack FM. I'm Finn. Here to introduce part two. Oh, thank you. No, I know you're too kind. Too kind. Thank you. Uh, here to introduce part two of the two-part Rack FM Dow Summit because two hours alone is simply not enough time to dedicate to DAOs, especially right now. DAOs are, are very hot this summer. So, uh, yeah, here's part two of two. Enjoy the show. Uh, <clears throat> I think a permanent feature for sure. Um, DAOs just, I mean, they bring organization to this, to this uh, space of the internet and allow people to coordinate at scale um, across borders, across all kinds of, kinds of boundaries um and and that needs structure um it, you were joking earlier when you said we don't trust each other but that's that is the the part of it like we don't meet each other online we don't have a basis to build trust like that um and so in the absence of that we do need uh systems that can that can codify some of that and can can abstract away some of those dependencies um to to enable this sort of broad collaboration that the DAOs uh enable i'm really glad i'm really glad that like you caught the irony in like what i was saying because uh i like like obviously a couple of people in the room like didn't pick up on it and like but like it's like no nah, dude like like i didn't even like i've never met these people like i do know them like kind of know them but I, like once i met you face to face then i know you kind of thing yeah i know exactly who you are what you look like where you come from where you live blah 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 right etc cetera, etc cetera. like it's like it's a very very different scenario us i mean i love the fact that i'm in bangkok bruce is in uh, denmark uh your man's in germany brasco uh and beto's in uh, northern canada we've got your woman b bands on the east coast and we've got finn on the west coast i just uh, uh, you know we did have rama in australia which was the the plant and great but like like we did have this like a global thing but we kind of still have didn't worry timmy i've been waiting for you coming into but yeah I, I, Netta, i'm glad you got the fact that there was irony in the tone that i used yeah timmy come on bro this show is ready for you right now it is brother i just wanted to say it's funny i i agree with you in general yet i there are a couple people in the crypto twitter sphere that i've not met in real life that i do feel like i know like you robo like i don't i think i've seen a picture of you once but that doesn't even matter to me like i i feel like oh, i know doxed. you it's weird. there are a I'm, couple other people it's really cool i'm, I'm more doxed i'm more doxed i would say the 99.999 percent of people on here because i've talked about everything to do with like with me where i live uh where i work blah 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 how many people have like dude i've shown all my tattoos like oh like i am as doxed as fuck but what like why not I'm not fucking scared of any like that uh, robo like why would i give a fuck bros like literally i, I don't i'm fully docs but like the trust thing i, I know what you mean like like to me that the, there's something about someone that you can like immediately be like well that's the, the, something not right there like you hate like you hear people like like paraphrase things in certain ways and you're like whoa whoa dude what did you just say then you're like mm, nah. nah it's like an instant thing right where you feel like trust is like really quite instant i think like it, it is but that can also be harmful like i've had to learn as i grow up that i'm too trusting of a person like i'll trust someone too easily um just because i like to see the good in people but 
that can also backfire. <laughs> ah, you see, to me, I trust, I trust nobody. Maybe that's the wrong fucking idea because me, I've been like been through that much trouble and shit in my life, right? Like, dude, like the, the earliest lesson I learned very, very early was like, right, like literally, even your parents or whatever, your own family or whatever, like you need to question that shit. Like, don't never, like, yes, uh, myself, myself, I tell you what, myself and my father and my grandfather, honestly, like, like the trust, trust, like decision making process or blah, blah, advice or et cetera. Very, like, I, I, I go in every, everything with, like, right, okay, this person's got to prove themselves 100%. And that's what a doubt should be, no? I tell you what, he's a good one. Functions got me a bit fucked up, right? We're going to get him on again. Uh, we'll get him on, guys, for a full two-hour show. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look who just fucking joined the room. Dow fucking royally. Bruce, man, have you got the iPhone? Oh, he's got an Android, same as me. We haven't got the soundboard. Any speakers got a soundboard? Can we have that pipe, you know, that... You know, that royal pipe where the flag drops down from that. Have you seen that? Like on Shrek. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Bro, you just play Cardinal the fucking... Uh, uh, how, how, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Has anyone got the pipe? To me, are you on an iPhone? Are you a pleb? Like no. Us? No <laughs> iPhone. You know why? You know why you're not on an iPhone? Because you don't like to be tracked by the government. Oh, that's anyone, uh, anyone who wraps an iPhone or a Samsung is a cock. Ah, ha, ha. you know what you do? You buy Chinese hardware and then you put your own software on and you run that oh like a God, no. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't tell don't put ideas like that in people's yeah, head. Don't, people are I'm not sure smart enough do to do that, right? Look who's in the room. <laughs> Look who's in the room, Mr. Fucking on, out, out. Uh, Well, uh, it wouldn't be a Dow Summit without your man and he's weird. Low, low. I, have, I feel like I haven't spoken with you in like a month or some somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but how you been? Yeah, because uh, I'm, 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 I'm good. You know, the I just woke up. The weather is fucking great today. Like fucking blue skies and seventy degrees. It's amazing. So, so well, it's all kicking off. Wait a minute, it's all kicking off. Fucking hell, polytone like. Dude, it's about to go mad, man. Fucking North sent me a fucking custom fucking contract for them bulk mint plebs. So you've got no... Listen to this, man. Jake and them, they've got absolute no code plebs like me and Bruce copy pasting fucking JSONs and setting up drops that are just going to fucking spice up this industry. I can't wait. I... Can you? Robo, Robo, before, before. Bruce, don't cut me off again. You did that before. Can Bruce, <laughs> Bruce can you imagine the smell when we drop? Imagine the smell uh, all down. Robo, did you see somebody post the other day asking what that means? I, I forget who it was, but I saw a tweet on my timeline that was someone clearly not a fan of yours, but they were like, <laughs> I'm seeing imagine a smell everywhere. Like, what does that even mean? I didn't bother replying, but I was just like, you you wouldn't get it. But <laughs> did you see that? Holy fuck, dude. Finn's rap. I mean, we dropped a listen to this, right? Rag effect. Yes, I think it was a quote retweet or a reply to that or something. Yeah. I mean, look at look at look what look, look, look at what happened, right? Rag FM are a DAO, right? We're a fucking DAO with six people. Yeah, we've had issues, but yeah, everybody does. All right, look at call one. Uh right. Like, look at what we did. We dropped a fucking rap, right? A Finn special on 420, right? And we airdropped it through Omniflix to fucking 225 individual wallets, right? Like, and we're just, we are just proper, like, I mean, we're blaggers in, in England. I mean, I know Jake's been in Manchester and that, right? I know for a fact Jake knows this term, a blagger, right? Like, if you're a blagger, you're a blagger in England. I grew up as a blagger. Black FM, a proper blagging it now, proper winging it. But we're pulling it off. Why? Because fucking culture is upstream of fucking governance. That's a simple fact. We build the culture. We don't have to worry about the rest of the shit. That'll take care of itself. And anyway, Jakey, mate, welcome to the floor. We've had such a fucking good show, mate. And are you coding on uh, Discord again or what? You've been having live coding sessions, haven't you? 
Yeah, next lab coding session is probably going to be this weekend again, like Sunday. So if uh, if you're a dev Ooh. and you want to code custom NFT contracts to maybe make some crazy DGen game. Are you, are you a so good at Jake, have you... I don't Jake. Wait, can I jump in here, Robo? Well? No, no, no. I want to ask him. Uh, no, he's, he's talking about like the Devon online. Uh, Jake, are you a, do you feel like you're an educator? Because it's a very special person, a very special thing. Like you've got the, I've heard you're a fucking shit hot coder. Like, like I've heard a few stories. Like, do you feel like no, you're just educating or helping like people or what? I feel like I'm a terrible educator. Um, being an educator is like a certain type of skill. Uh, so uh, if you go to the live streams, it's just probably doesn't make sense for most people. And I don't do a really great job of explaining it. But what I hope is that enough people get enough out of that, that maybe they can become better educators or like, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm more of like a crazy college professor where you have no clue what the fuck they're saying most of the time. But uh, somebody, somebody in the audience gets it. And that's you only need a couple people to get it. Um, right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a shit teacher, basically. Great. I want to continue with the conversation. Timmy, dinner worry, we'll bring you in, but we've been like four hours and we didn't want to lose the thread. Right, Jake? There's a fucking lot of shit and joke and piss take with some entities, and blah, blah, around the fucking acronym. We've asked all, everybody tonight, function, every country who's come on. We've had loads of big guests, right, dude? Eh, right, this acronym. I mean, just how much of this shit needs to be, like, decentralized? Like, well, what does that even fucking mean? Obviously, all of this shit we're doing uh, uh, is some form of organization. So the O, we can forget about. And and just, like, what do we mean by, like, autonomous? Like, like which part of it for who is, like, autonomous? Like, the acronym seems to get a lot of pushback, right? Yeah, you know, naming things is hard. And there's a huge spectrum to like, there's many different types of DAOs out there. Some of them have like three members at the core and some of them have tens of thousands of members. Like, so what the fuck does decentralized mean? What's a, why, the fuck does the why mean? have people started deprecating the term? I don't, I don't, like Timmy, 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 I've got a DAO, Timmy, a DAO. Timmy, you'll have, Timmy, I didn't want to shoot your mic up, dude. You'll have to fucking wait because it's been four hours in the making, Timmy. You'll have to wait, dude. Right. You can have your time. Nobody. Jake, what were you saying? Sorry. I guess real quick, my my take on on the on the term is like, I, I like the most general definition of 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 DAOs possible. Like a DAO is just a a a governance structure that is enforced and run by a computer program, or just like yeah, it's a it's a it's a governance system that's enforced by a computer program, usually run in a distributed fashion like on a blockchain. So you can really just think of the decentralized part is it's governance code, but instead of like filing papers with the secretary of state somewhere, you're uh, uploading smart contracts to a blockchain. And that's the decentralized part. I think a lot of people try to put more into the decentralized part where it has to be decentralized ownership and it has to be like thousands of people or like, I, I think that's very limiting. I think the decentralized part is that it's just run on distributing distributed in infrastructure like anyone can verify it you know uh as far as the autonomous part i feel like we kind of already have that like when you vote for something to happen on dow dow and it passes and gets executed it automatically happens you know you vote to like pay out a bunch of people or you vote to do an airdrop or you vote to uh create a validator you don't like when you vote like the autonomous part is that like it just automatically happens you know like as as encoded in the program um you don't have to like pass off pass it off to like hr you know you don't have to like say like hey jimmy go down to the bank and like write checks for all our payroll or, or whatever you know it's like that's the autonomous part uh and i oh, think that we're gonna get more and more autonomous kind of features so one of the things i'm really excited about for croncat which everyone's gonna be sleeping on until they aren't is that you can create these really powerful kind of like automation flows like for things like treasury management, for example, like say you want to like continually like dollar cost average some of your rewards into like another token or uh, and just like do this in kind of like an automated fashion, like as approved by the as as approved by the DAO. Um, and then I think eventually things are going to get really fucking crazy. Like 
I'm not exactly sure what this will look like, but I wouldn't be surprised if like DAOs have like AIs in like five years and that they're like basically like through on-chain governance controlling their like AI to like go out and like do certain tasks in the world. That might be the, the full manifestation of autonomous, but yeah, maybe there's a better term out there. But it's kind of like with NFTs for a long time, people were complaining about like, what the, why the fuck do we need like NFT as a term? Like no one knows, knows what that is. Can we use something like media or content or whatever? But sometimes these things just stick, even though they're kind of like imperfect or a little bit confusing. So it's like people were like, we need to like figure out a new term for NFTs and NFTs are still around. And in many ways, people just come to accept them. And I think that same thing is kind of going to be true for DAOs. It's maybe not a perfect word, but I think we should just like try to interpret it in like the broadest sense possible and not like put all these like values on it. Like there has to be like equal ownership or distributed ownership, or there has to be like a certain type of structure. Probably just better to look at these things in a really broad sense. But I don't know, if someone has, if someone has a better term, I'll, I'll, we can rename doubt out to whatever. That I've been waiting four hours. Four, I've been four. waiting. Dude, I've been waiting four hours for your fucking bass tones. Do you know this? Uh, this is the reason I've been hanging on. Like, I've been tagging years and I'm like, four hours on a space. I'm dying. I'm like dying. And we've got like a mandarin that in now, but I'm like, fucking hell, man. Like, if we, uh, dude, Eggers came in earlier. I was like, oh, fucking hell. We've got Dow Royal in, like, you know, but obviously, might be working or whatever. I understand, you know, might listen to re replay, but fucking Bruce. Oh, B Bands is back up as a co host as well. She accepted. Uh, uh, hey, we've, we've got Del Royal Ian. I mean, this is what a culmination of this fucking space tonight where we started with like X Function. And we've, guys, listen, we have to get, please, please, for the love of God, I'll not fucking sleep until this happens. In fact, I'll go on hunger strike until I can host a fucking space with no cunt else except Jake and Function. And I just want to put the thoughts out there and I want to listen to these two brains. Jake, you, is your man's on Mountain Standard Time? He's only, what, two hours ahead of you? I'll stay up all night. I'll fucking host that shit. I'll drink coffee all fucking night. We have to get you together. All right, well, get it, get it in the books. Let's go. And I do, uh, Timmy's down, uh, Timmy didn't, I don't I know if you dropped down as a listener because you got a call or something. I do apologize. Timmy, I didn't want to interrupt, but I had to continue with Jake a little bit. This like train of thought, I really had to get the hacker in him out. Because it's been the, one of the main themes of the last four hours. Right, Jake, the follow-up is uh, micro DAOs versus macro DAOs. Right. Should all of us players be thinking about DAOs, how, how we look at them now in its current formation, yeah? Should we be looking at them like, right, Rack FM is a proper micro DAO. It's, a, it's what I would call like an SME, right? A small and medium enterprise, yeah? Uh, obviously, you've got like, a, what, a sole trader, uh, or self-employed sole trader, whatever you want to call them, right? Your one-man band, et cetera, et cetera. Then you've got like that small group. I think that's what, up to uh, uh, 20 employees, is it an SME or something? Five to 20 or something or whatever it is. Because like under that, you can be whatever it is, a limited partnership. And then, Jake, you've got these like gigantic fucking DAOs. Like, I mean, Juno essentially is a DAO. Uh, it, it's a, you know, it's, it's money run by governance, whatever, right? It's, it's if it happens or it doesn't but like if, if i look at say like the core one etc if you look at like your treasury size if you look at these bigger things uh these other ethereum like DAOs, etc like these macro DAOs, should we be looking at this or am i being small-minded and thinking like that there's only two entities and that's like the big and the small or what oh you know i think uh i think there's just big small and medium <laughs> I'll throw the third category in there because the and and you should when you're looking at designing your DAO, you should look at DAOs that are similar to like what you're trying to do. Like, don't model your DAO off of like Arboretum or like Optimism government governance, right? Like, those are for like massive projects that you know it's like maybe not a good fit. Uh, one of the one of the terms that has been I'm not sure how much I like this term either is like one of the terms that has been floating around a lot is like proto DAOs, like a lot of DAOs. Effectively start out. Whoa, as like whoa, whoa, what, like, what, what, wait a minute. Pro, proto, proto DAO. Did you say that? Yeah, proto DAO. Um, like the idea is that a lot of DAOs like really start off as like a core group of people. Like you might have three to five people that are like basically the core of the DAO and they're going to like, uh, you know, create this really big community. 
but like it never nothing ever starts out like completely decentralized right away right nothing ever starts out with like a huge community right away so like the proto dao what people are kind of trying to get at with this term is that many DAOs oftentimes have a phase where they're like basically like three three to five people and then like you kind of go through this process of gradual decentral decentralization to eventually you know build a community and make sure the like community has ownership i'm not sure if this is a helpful term but i do think that if you're thinking about starting a DAO, like look at DAOs that are kind of doing something similar so if like look at existing media DAOs, for example uh look at look at DAOs that are kind of like in the right size for your organization like um you know you don't need to like i think something that a lot of startups fuck up on is that they uh, take ideas from really big companies like Google or whatever, like, oh, we're Google does OKRs. So we're going to do this like OKR kind of system and have all this like management stuff. And in reality, most startups don't actually fucking need that shit. Um, they actually just need to be like small and lean and agile and not have like way too much process. Dude, you know, I'm sorry, Jake, Jake, I only checked you, dude, I only checked you, because, like, when I heard you say, like, proto, like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a dude, I study etymology, I'm a fucking professor of etymology, people think I'm a player, but, like, I'm, like, far more educated than what people think in this regard, and that's not a word, or, sorry, a prefix, I do apologise, everyone, sorry, it's not a prefix that you hear, like, very often, and it's, it's quite as a very, very specific and, like, poignant meaning, which is when you said it, I'm, I didn't want to interrupt you, like, dude. I, like, it's because I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. And that's the kind of host I am is I'm going to, like, be, wait a minute. Like, check me. Like, right, okay, proto doubt. It, like, okay, that's like a fucking, like, that, that, I, I, that, yeah. So this is the question for you then. Rat FM, there's only six of us. We've created the parent DAO. Uh, we want to bring in, like, members, right? So, like, we are trying to create the proto DAO, yeah? We are trying to set everything the standard, blah, blah, blah. How do we move forward then, uh, Jake, where we might have like individual sub DAOs that are like, say, like the, the musical arm, uh, the, the artwork uh, uh, sub DAO. Then we've got like the staking uh, sub DAO. How, how do we like a, a pleb? We were plebs. How do we move forward with our little plan from our program? Uh, take inspiration from like real world like businesses of don't break off into departments until you have to. If you're just six people, you don't need to like quite break off into into sub DAOs yet. Or like, I mean, you, obviously you can, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Um, but it's kind of in many ways, like a little bit of a premature kind of optimization. I think the most important thing for any DAO is just growing community. Just like, even if they're like, and you have different levels of community, you have like the people that are like, just kind of, they're almost like consumers or they're like sort of like tangentially a part of the community. Uh, they're interested in what the community is doing, but they're not like actively like making con content or participating. And then you have like the actual contributors. These are the people that are doing the shit, that are making the con content, that are hanging out in the chats that are like super actively involved. And you really want to be like kind of like just focused on growing the community. Uh, I think uh, it's it's really tempted, tempting to get into like, oh, how should we organize all these like, you know, different sub DAOs and stuff? And th those are great questions, but just focus on the community first. If you're if you're like a if you're six people, you don't need to like kind of have this super complex structure right away. In many ways, that's kind of like the idea behind the proto DAO is like you start out with like a really small group, and then it's like sort of this evolutionary process until it becomes this much more this much bigger and and more decentralized community um so that's how i would go about it just think just it's all about community at the end of the day like just uh build that and then eventually you'll figure out how how best to organize the various tasks inside of it um but i, I don't think there's like a ton of point in breaking out into sub DAOs like when you're at like the six people level because it's like um that's just a little bit more complexity. You know, it's like, it's like you're, if you're a 10 person startup and you decide to like create departments inside of your startup and it's like, okay, we're gonna have a marketing department. It's like, sure, you could do that, but you know, it might actually like get in the way later on and probably like you should just focus on like your core, your core activity and like growing your business or growing your community. Uh, 
And inevitably, as the community or as the business grows in size, uh, you'll like have to you know deal with issues of of scaling, and those are great problems to face. And then you can definitely like like break things out into like sub DAOs and stuff. But I think the the biggest thing is just focus on like what what gets people most engaged. You know, that's the key question we should all be asking. Last question. Last question. Uh, are you are you gonna monetize? Uh, have you got a time? Sorry, I shouldn't say you're going to monetize. Obviously, you are. Have you got a time frame uh, of monetizing, or are you just going to play it by ear and hope for the best? Uh, like with Dada, Dada is already kind of monetized in some ways. So, um, we've been starting to use uh, like the whole fee share thing, which is not not a lot, but uh, you know we have. I, got I, that. Meant, I meant Dow got- as a service. Okay, sorry, Jay. I should I should have clarified because we've been talking about this all night. It's late for me, and I do apologize. I should have clarified, right? Uh, we've been talking about like DAOs and stuff, right? So, I'll say, like, whether like, the corporation or Rap FM or uh, Angel, because I see Amanda's in there, right? And, like, they want their own front end where people don't really know that it's got like anything to do with like DAO DAO. Yeah, you're just like supply in the back end. People have been talking about like DAOs as a service for a long time. Is that where your future lies? Like, the monetization of your future? Uh, Perhaps. I think that there's going to definitely be uh, some things like that, and we're still figuring out how best to do that. One of the cool things about DAO is that we're like actually like proving out like first on Juno is you can use DAO, DAO to run the entire governance of an L1 chain. Um, and obviously, there's going to be a lot of other chains that want that, like that want to use like actually good governance tooling for their chain. And we just have to figure out like how best to like structure and monetize that you know um but uh Jake, I only on. Jake, I, i'm to- sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i only asked because obviously we saw what happened like you just closed some uh contracts down while you just talked about like licensing and that the other week i mean it was very public it was straight out there you know but like a few people were like all right okay is this because monetization is like about to happen or uh, I think it's about putting us in like a good bargaining power. Uh, all the contracts are still open source, and most of our tools are. Um, but we did uh, we did uh, close the uh, front end repo for now because like we don't, you know, there, there's a lot of competition that's launching in the space, and a lot of people that would just love to la- do lazy copy pasta, and uh, we want to make sure that the people that work on Dao can be well funded to you know build public goods and. We want to make sure that, like, also Juno has an edge in this as well, right? Like, we don't want, like, lazy copy pasta on, like, Chihuahua chain, just like they lazy copy pasta, like, uh, you know, Juno swap or whatever. Um, I think, uh, I mean, Chihuahua is, like, less of an issue. To me, it's more like projects like Axelar, you know, these big VC projects that have raised a ton of money. And it's, like, those people should pay up. <laughs> like, um, I think the main thing, though, that, we want to like monetize is like also services for DAOs. So like, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be launching like a whole bunch of tools for like fundraising, uh, and, and, uh, like monetizing your DAOs. So like NFT mentors and things like that. Um, those are all provide, like, I think we're going to take like a, a fat, like 1% fee, uh, on, 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 on some of those, which is actually like a lot lower than many other, uh, places in the market, but that's like nice sustainable revenue for for Dow Dow, and then across all the DAO, DAOs that are minting NFTs or doing like fundraisers, uh, you know that could add up sus- sus- substantially as it grows. Um, in terms of like kind of oh, and we do actually have I don't know if you know about this, but we do actually have um, like a single Dow website, so uh, you can actually access this for your Dow right now, and we're going to be working on like basically allowing people to like, yeah, just host it on their own, like kind of separate uh, domain. Um, we haven't really thought about like, we don't really like charge it, charging for, for stuff. Um, yeah, this, these are all like really good questions, but um, I think the main things for monetization for, for me now or for us now is like building tools to like, like help to, I was like, you know, like monetize basically. Um, and then just taking like a really, really small fee, uh, you know, that will be controlled by governance in the DAO DAO DAO. So like, you know, if, if uh, as DAO 
uh, as DAO token slowly gets out to Juno stakers, maybe they'll be like, we want different fees, you know, and that's that's fair. That's why it's a it's a DAO. These these parameters will be controlled by by governance. Um, I'm fucking dying here. I'm dying here every time Jake says the DAO DAO DAO. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I do, I do say DAO a lot. It's uh... he loves it. No, the but the the DAO DAO DAO. Everybody knows which one he's talking about with the DAO DAO DAO. Jake, I have to say, wait, listen, you say copy pasta. I mean, I wish I could say it like you do. I'm like copy pasta. You're like copy pasta, dude. You say it more eloquently than anyone in the space. And I'm, I'm like Finn. I'm gonna timestamp them. We're gonna fucking sample that, y'all copy pasta and fucking make an, a, a record fin's gonna drop a track called copy pasta right to featuring you anyway uh jake you're about to be uh bruce have you listened to the the next generation or the the better version of uh gm fin's next single have you heard jake like oh my god how cool as fuck is that bruce have you heard it on it before we bring him under it i'm not sure man what you haven't heard the little copy of gm what when you when you put me on the spot like that, I'm pretty sure I've heard it. it. Oh, Jake, wait till you hear you. Absolutely just put the industry on notice and Finn's like built a wrap around it. It is fucking slick. Anyway, let's welcome you talk, You're back. talking about the folk bit, right? GM. No, I'm talking about GM, the one he fucking... All right, you keep up, son. The, oh, the apprentice is slacking. You want me to help you out? Anyway, let's say hello to Amanda because she's all about the Dow. Hello, Amanda Dow. Hello, darling. Amanda, it's Amanda. Um, I've I've met nine other Amandas in the crypto space, so we're officially starting the Amanda. How many Karens have you met? Have you met many Karens or not? Is there many Karens in crypto? Kevin's. No Karen. You know Karen. Oh Karen. You know um, the Bob. Karens yeah, have yeah, always Karen. got a Bob, haven't they? They've always got a Bob and the hungry in the supermarket. Yeah. No, no, only hot Amandas. No, I'm just kidding. Enough, Robo, it's been so long since I fucking talked to you. Hey, Amanda, tonight has been insane. The the Dow, oh my goodness, we're, we're nearly going on for like, uh, what, four, four and a half? Is it four and a half or five and a half? Five and a half hours, four and a half, five. It's been insane. Uh, we, 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 you know, uh, Amanda, a lot of us feel like we're just like, uh, not even early. We're even earlier than early with like Dow's. Like, not that many people actually get it to the... I feel like I get it a bit, you know, but. Um, I think so. I think we are early. I mean, it's conf- it's it's like an evolving technology that, you know, like the more people I found this that like the more people get introduced to a DAO, it tends to get in some senses, it tends to get confusing because there's so many moving parts. And if you're not constantly like staying up to date with everything and looking at every proposal or every you know, voting on things, it can get, I mean, it can get rather like muddied. So, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, room for improvements, obviously, because we are so new, but I think there's a potential. I mean, I wouldn't be starting the Amanda. Amanda, Amanda, you have to be, we've been seeing this all night and, and I didn't even ask Jake this question, uh, but I'd love to start with you. Governance fatigue. I think with every fucking DAO consideration, right? I mean, that's what it's about, isn't it? Voting on on particular the shit that matters. I think you need to ultimately be really conscious of exactly like who has to fucking do what. It's like there were six of us. How many people have to take care of fucking staking? For fuck's sake, you want five people, whatever your voting parameters are set up by, right? Because think about it. You need your voting parameters set up so there's like a, a a decent consensus of like thinking, like clearly thinking adults so that are like going to be like, I oh, do what you're talking about. Like this is like if someone puts a spam prop up or someone like, you know, falls out or, or does this, blah, blah, blah. Like you need that like governance, like, like, don't you? You need that kind of like quorum or right. But also on the other fucking hand, like, am I going to like ask you if I can like go on, like restake? Or re-delegate because like a, a validator's but I mean you're gonna get really pissed off with this like eventually. Like that's the fucking shit that people need to take care of. Organize oh, no. the distribution. Go on, Jacob. No, I was gonna say, you know, uh, like Jake said with Concast, you'll be able to uh, automate those aspects of the DAO. So that's that that should be coming soon, right, Jake? Yeah, Croncat's uh coming soon. It's actually live on Testnet. I've been playing around with it. Sick. 
Right, Jacob, what do you say? Uh, sorry, Jacob. Jake, what do you say about governance fatigue, dude? Like, is it a thing or not? Or am I imagining it? No, it's, a, it's totally fucking real. And I think a lot of times things with DAOs are like, we have this special, exciting new term called DAO and this really awesome, amazing technology. But in many ways, like nothing's new under the sun. Like if you've ever been part of like a club or an organization, they all have the same fucking problems of like, you know, uh, it just takes a lot of work to like participate in large groups of people that, that are doing stuff. And then you always have like, you know, sometimes like one or two people that are like really like secretly like moving the, the project along. And then you have like other people that just like argue about everything. Like, like it's in many ways, nothing's new under the sun. Like DAOs are just like groups of people and groups of people are dysfunctional as fuck. But I think, you know, uh, like voting fatigue is real. And that's why I think uh, sub DAOs are really important. So for it, particularly for larger DAOs. So if you have like a really large DAO, that's like hundreds or thousands of people, you probably want to have like sub DAOs because like not everyone wants to vote on everything all the time. Like, I'm sorry, I don't want to have like all of Juno governance vote to like pay a designer for like, you know, uh, designing a poster for like some event and then vote to pay like a videographer to like film an event or, you know, it's like, it's, we don't care at that level of the community. Like you want to, you want to be able to delegate that like responsibility to like smaller groups of people. So that's one, one tool, but one of the things we're really focused on for data V3 is just like governance minimization, just voting as little as possible. And we have, uh, we have this uh, new kind of concept, which I think is kind of a first and maybe like, uh, like in DAO tooling, uh, which is like preference based voting. So yeah, we've all been in these like annoying discussions in crypto where we're like arguing over what a parameter should be. What should the listing fee on stars be? Should it be a hundred stars or 500 stars? It's like less than a 10 cent difference. And like people are just getting all the knives out. There's all these like drama <laughs> and battles. Everyone's just like, it's a huge fucking waste of energy. Um, and it's like that for like every single little parameter we, 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 we decide. And then we have to like, it's, it's annoying to like change these. We shit. Sorry, Jake. I thought that was me. Sorry, dude. I was, I was doing the emotion. Jake, I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, Jake. I couldn't stop laughing. I hit the wrong button, dude. I'm sorry. Holy well, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sorry, the worst. <laughs> anyway, long story short, like everyone's like fucking tired of that shit. And I think, the new model we really want to push with data or at least provide an option for, you can always do it the old way. Uh, but we want to enable this new thing called preference based voting. So say you join a community, like, uh, you know, say, say like, uh, you know, it's a DeFi protocol and you have to like sort of decide like what should, uh, like the rewards for different pools be, or what should the, like the fees be instead of like, voting on a global parameter where we're going to be like we're going to set it to like 0.3 percent and someone writes this big long proposal and we have this huge debate about it which is exhausting what if instead we just all like set our preference for the like we individually uh set our preference for i want the fees to be 0.3 percent you want them to be 0.5 percent and we do a weighted average of everyone's preferences and that sets like the true value uh so effectively it's just a no voting scheme just voting is tiring let's just like use the hive mind for what it's good for and the cool thing about this is then like oh people in the community feel like inflation is too high they just tweak their individual preferences right you don't have to have like a you know like it and it happens in kind of real time rather than having to write this like big long proposal and have like tons of arguments that are just a waste of people's time i guess to get to your point like yeah government governance fatigue is real but it's also nothing new. Like anyone who's worked with groups of humans is like realize the, the pain of working with groups of humans. It's just how things are. And even though we have all this technology, it doesn't mean things are going to be different in DAOs in any way. Yeah, nothing's new under the sun, but we can try to keep innovating to like minimize governance fatigue as much as possible. Uh, I'm really, really apologetic about, uh, about that. Like, Jake, I, I was laughing that much that fucking I was hitting the laughing emoji, dude. I hit the nah, mute. Where is it? It's, it's but all good. Finn, Finn, I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll tag him, and he like just fucking edit this little bit, and he'll come in. He like he's, he's like, oh, this is where Rob all fucked up. See, I'm giving Finn lines now. Like he's gonna when he listens back to this, and he's gonna be like, 
is this cunt teaching me my job? That's going to be his comment, but I've just ruined that one for him as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got to say, Jake, when it comes to, like, yeah, honestly, you are, and I didn't want to be a fanboy or whatever, but, like, one of the fucking most based, based fucking people we've got in Cosmos, and your man Sefi's come up now. I've got no doubt he's got some fucking AI shit he's going to put on your arse, has he? How are Sefi? Come on, bring the AI. Good out. <laughs> I'm at the airport at the moment, kind of waiting for a flight. So what's up? Are you flying down to Lu- Louisiana with those mad motherfuckers that fucking gone fighting the swamps and that and come in your e- ER room or what? Oh, no. I was just taking a trip to go and eat some souffle and French food in a different city and then come back in the <laughs> evening. But, like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, the, the flights and stuff got canceled, so I'm sitting here waiting for the next one. No way. So, uh, mate, I you, you, you've you've come back in, uh, Jake's here. Uh, have you played? Her? I mean, because I was gonna, I was gonna be devil's advocate a little bit, like actually, and I, I probably fucking shouldn't be, but it's like I don't know. It's nearly two a.m. and I feel like I can be because I've had a bit of weed and I don't give a fuck, and I'm like, nah. and I'm thinking, hey, Jake, I'm thinking enterprise. All I'm hearing is fucking enterprise, 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 and I'm like, nah. I'm I'm like. Have you played around over there, Jake? Do you not give a fuck? Are you happy to do what they're doing? Will it be collaborators in the future? Tell me something. I'd love to collaborate, you know, and uh, like I think, uh, you know, it's it's fun. And the reason you hear you hear about like, you know, don't get me wrong. I think Dow Tooling is or Dow Dow Tooling is like much better, like technically, but there's a lot to learn from enterprise. And like I said, DAOs are ultimately community at the end of the day. And what's really strong about the you know Terra community is they all like stick together and like promote each other's projects, which is something I honestly think we could learn as a community. Um, it's uh, so yeah, I think, uh, and that's, and that's why we've been hearing, hearing about it. Cause you know, Ryan, the lion, he's done a really fucking great job of promoting uh, his DAO and showing how you can do a DAO go to market. And it's not that you like can't do those things with DAO DAO. You totally can. It's just like, you need, you need the people, um, you know, uh, so like, yeah. Well, I well, don't, Jake, I don't, I don't Jake, have, Jake, I, I have Jake, zero can I give you an example? Like, you know, it's like, it's how great. it doesn't more innovation. Can I, can I give you an example how it doesn't work? I'm, I'm sorry to interject. I'm just going to say this very, very quickly. Uh, Ambedo did a really special, like, one-on-one. It's not even in our treasury, dude, right? And we sent it down to Dow, and they haven't a white wheel, haven't even put the prop up to fucking display it in their treasury. It's like, like... Like that would never have happened over there. Like, like for us, I didn't want. I've, I've mentioned the sen a few times about like, hey, dude, are you going to put the prop up? Are you going to put the prop up? And it still hasn't happened, right? They just got no interaction with Dow Dow. And I'm like, well, dude, we did this like doubt to doubt transfer, and I'm like, that like, you've really like let us down. But that would not have happened over there, and it hasn't happened by what they've done. Like, there needs to be more uh, cohesiveness between us all, and that's what like us, Rax and Gilletto. Uh, Gelotto, sorry, Gelotto, 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 Gelotto are trying to do is like prove to people that like, hey, we used to be like at each other's throats. Now we've come together. Like, can the upper echelons and can like, can can everybody just work together? Like, because uh, you've been talking about this a long time, Jake. You just want everybody to get along with each other, don't you? I know you. You do. Oh, I'm a, I'm a realist. I realize people won't get along. That's just part of their life. But there is a lot of advantage advantages to get to getting along and to being more supportive of of each other rather than like at each other's throats all the time and i think that this is a way in which like the terra community has has been really great like as soon as anyone like affiliated with like terra launches a project they're all like coordinating to like help promote it in in the rest of cosmos we're all just like like snarking each other snarking at each other and like competing and like you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's bad vibes. And like, ultimately, I think if you, re- if we want to go grow really big things, we have to just get beyond that. Like, um, and I, you know, sure you can frame these things as competition, but like, I think we're all kind of in the same boat and, uh, you know, guess what? With uh polytone, there's going to be doubt out as on Terra, you know, th- with, uh, like we're, we have to like, just move past, like, a lot of the basic tribalism and you know it's it's hard we're never going to fully move past it but it's 
it's worth a shot. Um, but yeah, like I, I have checked out Enter- Enterprise a lot, and like you know, I think I think it's great, and I think it's good that there's more experimentation like happening in the space, and uh, I think it's good that the uh, token swap proposal is is happening with Dowdow. So like that's gonna bring a little bit more resources to Dowdow because like we've uh, basically been running entirely on fumes, which is like st- like kind of surprising to people given the fact that we like ship as much as we do, but. Um, that's also going to be changing soon and, uh, we're just going to keep shipping. Like we have all the really cool interchain account stuff. Uh, you know, another thing is I think that, uh, people are going to build like different tools for like different types of audiences and different types of acti- activities. Like we're, we're definitely going for like really powerful DAO tooling that could run entire like L1 chains or, uh, we have, uh, some of our very first validators are going to be managing all their validator in- infrastructure on DAODAO which is like pretty, pretty sick. Uh, so when, when Polytone launches, we have a couple of validators that have like lined up to be like an early trial. Uh, Strange Love is actually one of them. So kudos to them, but they're going to be like breaking out this whole mo- new model of using a DAO on DAO to like just manage all their validators across all the, all the different chains. And so we're just like, it's, we're at like such an early beginning to all this stuff. And Honestly, the best thing we can do is just like take a less competitive mindset and just keep learning from each other. Like we should be like enterprise should be learning from Dada. Dada should be learning from enterprise. Like we should be learning from each other's communities. And uh, I would like to see us, you know, uh, kind of stick together in in the cosmos and in the interchain a little bit more. And I think Alliance and Mesh are like really good ways to do so. Um, Like. You know, part of me is like almost like even looking at Alliance now just to, as a way to promote vibes, even though I still think like mesh security is the way. Um, but yeah, we need to like foster more economic alignment and collaboration between like these different types of communities. Um, and it's not zero sum. Like in many ways, like even though we might all be competing as individual Cosmos chains, who are we really up against? We're up against the uh, like the Aptos and Swees of the world. You know, we're like, you know, we're up against just TradFi and all of the traditional systems that are trying to make what we're doing, like, fucking illegal and trying to put people in prison for it. Like, those are, like, those are the, the real, we, we just need, at least maybe, maybe we can't, like, fully ever unite, but we should at least unite on the important things and be a little bit kinder to each other. Um, there's nothing to lose and other things to gain. Geek, Abdos and Sui. Oh my goodness. A lot. Honestly, this dude is insane. Oh, wait a minute. Fucking hell. Uh, oh, Jake, you mentioned, you know what? It's, it's a weird one, isn't it? It's like on the right FM, you mention someone's name and then bang, they'll come in the spaces and they'll come up to speak. Uh, Jake mentioned Croncat earlier and Croncat's in the room. Hello there. Yeah, well, Hi, uh, hey, hey. going to put the autonomous in DAOs. So, you know, hell yeah. Oh, how are you doing, man? Are you all right? Yeah, doing doing pretty awesome. Um, we're we, in a mad fucking space, this dude. We, we're being uh, we're being gunning, we're being gunning five up an hours, man. I'm just talking about Dells for five hours. It's crackers, man, dude. Uh, I'm so glad you've come in, and also I can see Sam's come in and all. I know you might not be able to speak, Sam, but Cronkat. I mean, Jake's just been fucking blown coke up your ass there. Like, what's going on, dude, with the Dells? <laughs> We are actually doing our first pilot with uh, one of the DAOs doing management, staking their, you know, validating everything through DAODAO. We're going to do autonomous treasury for them. We're, we're starting that already. So pretty stoked about that. Oh, when, 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 starts, when that would be live? Oh, oh, I was going to say, where, uh, didn't it stop your man? He's on a roll. Tell us what you're talking about that. So they're going to be able to. We did a test run to actually claim wind, LP, and other things, then automatically propose to adjust LP or gauge positions, and then restake. So imagine your validators running and you're earning rewards and stuff. Well, you want those to go to work for you. So as a DAO-governed validator, you can actually put your assets to work and diversify and all that autonomously. And your your DAO can adjust how it's allocating and stuff. So we actually did the the pilot run this week on Testnet. It was pretty cool to see that happening. So now we're like, sweet, let's do this in Mainnet. Let's see it 
run. So hopefully next week we're going to have that all going. Oh, we imagine pretty, this. That's mode. a pretty sick strat- strategy for, for DAOs to like automate like basically their gauge voting on uh on win. So like promote their token. That's that's great. I love that. Just like auto compound yeah, that and then, for, like, just constantly be, keep keep pushing your gauge. I hope they're okay with me saying this, but the Clio DAO is really innovating here. Like really stoked to see them leaning full in on the power of Concat here. Oh, I love this. Uh, Jacob's got his hand up. Yeah, Jacob, yeah. Oh, yeah. So for our DAO, like we are NFT DAOs. And one thing we're doing for DAO, it's kind of like the royalty fees. 100% of that is going to the DAO. I don't know if Concat, um, because we're playing, that would be going to like a, a sub DAO in the DAO. So we want to like to automate the transfer of that fund to different, to the DAO treasury and like to different, NFT holders. Would that be possible with Concat? Because I don't want to be doing that manually, like like make a pop each time. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to get on a call to show you how to do that, but we actually have ways that you can check DAO proposal statuses, or you can check different contracts, or even like basically look at what's happening on the chain and respond with another action. Maybe it's making another proposal. Or maybe it's minting a new NFT. Um, whatever you want. It's it's built so that you can say, hey, what's the chain doing? Or maybe every week, do something. Um, yeah, we actually have a, a closed beta that's going to be opening up in a few days to our public beta. So anybody can start trying it out. Awesome. So I just <laughs> take forward to that. that. That would save us so much time. Like, because for that, we want like, to be 100% community on so 100 percent of the world's fees is going back to the dial so that, that'd be cool yeah i think that's awesome imagine the fucking smell in your house man if you're not into dows right now i mean literally if dows are not a fucking talking point across your fucking dinner table right now with your missus man your fucking life's in the bin isn't it it's in the rubbish right you need to get on this shit Oh, Sefi, have you got any questions for any of the other panelists uh, yeah. Yeah. Fight them out. yeah so um Besides sort of treasury management, uh, automation of some of those features, the governance um, features, like maybe you can uh, list out some of the more, like maybe things that people haven't thought about, like what kind of DAO uh, tooling features need to be there to uh, really run an organization. I, I can think of like being able to make payments to like your labor force, for example, um, or like t- yeah. timing payments or like pay payroll um i can think of like as running a business um some accounting features might be super useful um things like that yeah 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 so we actually been working with that for a long time on payroll so that's awesome we want to help them stream payments to contributors and DAO members um also like you mentioned the business model side how do you actually run operations like maybe your DAO has a subscription um, and pays for DevOps running on a cost or something. Those are going to be super simple to automate and even check, you know, hey, I need to refill my balance on whatever VM running on a cost or, you know, plenty of other business use cases. Um, we also see a couple of cool things that we're experimenting with, um, subscription payments or Patreon style via a DAO. So maybe you're a content DAO and you want to, you know, make videos or something. It'd be really sweet to have a way of, you know, feedback loops for that to auto pay or recurring pay or, you know, whatever. Um, And then we also see another way for validators running DAOs to have compensation for other products. There's actually a lot of um, validators that have additional businesses. So we're thinking about delegation as a service being a model that basically if you delegate, say, a thousand Juno or a thousand some unit, right? That's going to guarantee interest from the staked rewards to actually pay for another service. Maybe you're running an RPC service and you're a validator also. It's like, okay, you can actually have a a benefit without the person paying, losing out on the original staked amount. So 
there's kind of some cool models that we're playing with. Um, and I'm sure there's many more that we'll find that, you know, we didn't think of. I mean, Croncat is just such cool tech for the ecosystem. And another use case that uh, you didn't touch on is like, but I think it's really uh, valid and interesting is managing like portfolios. Like, you know, uh, I think uh, one of the things that DAOs can like struggle with is sort of like, you know, managing like an investment portfolio portfolio. And this, uh, you know, uh, like, but, you know, with Croncat, you could like basically set some like trading rules, you know, uh, and then like autonomously like execute them automatically without having to like put up a prop like each time you want to like potentially like exit like a, a a position it's more like you just vote on like the the strategy or the the recipe that you you have in croncat and and then you're in business is like a you know uh an investment out but yeah sorry Steffi, what were you, what were you gonna say? another sort of like uh, along this route uh kind of a feature i envision i don't know if any of you guys run any e-commerce sites like shopify things like that but uh, these things typically have a payment gateway already built in um so an interesting thing would be like let's say you're on a t-shirt site or something like that and you buy a t-shirt and that t-shirt um you pay cash with your credit card with it but um you know similarly you could buy like an nft direct but it messages, um, you know, the blockchain to sort of like, uh, you know, for you to take ownership of that particular thing. But like the end user does not need to necessarily, um, like, you know, know how to use a wallet and such right off the bat, right? You, you see what I'm getting at? Like, so you, it's almost like a messaging service between like a non-crypto thing and a crypto thing. But it then it finalizes your ownership. Um, on chain, even though you don't have a clue how to use the actual underlying crypto, which I think is a useful possible way to bring sort of end users in um, and to design certain types of um, games and things that uh, you could bring a lot broader audience in um, indirectly through Web 2.0 type infrastructure and payment gateways. Because right now it's like, well, you got to go to like Coinbase, you got to buy your Atom, and you have to take your Atom, you have to send it to your wallet, and you have to do that, and then switch it up, drop it on a deck, all this other nonsense. There's just too much, there's too many layers and too much friction to get an average person who might like want to participate in a DAO um, into the system, right? Like, imagine like the fee to enter this organization is 20 bucks, like, and you basically swipe your credit card, um, and your membership to that, um, you know, the twenty dollars goes to the organization, and you have a record on the blockchain that you can log to the organization. And ultimately, you could go to the DAO DAO website, uh, use your little code or whatever, and next thing you know, you're you're like on your way, right? something like that. Did you did you forget your Buccaneer phones or something, Safi? Or like an ears? I don't know. Could you play an announcements and shit? Have you forgot oh, your headphones? Yeah, you where's your earbuds? Dude? I'm using my earbuds. Can you hear me right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound like you're about to board, maybe. Sorry. There's <laughs> a lot of noise out here. Oh, you're good. You're good. Yeah, those are great points. Uh, in fact, uh, we've actually been kind of slowly and I, I've not announced this yet, but we actually shipped like a really uh, big feature in Dada, which is Web3 off. So now you can actually, if you, if you try to like go to Dada today, you can actually uh, like connect to Dada and, and get a wallet via Web2 login. Um, it's using uh, something called Web3. It's, it's, re it's really yeah, cool so you, could, you can actually just go there and just like, you know, for all the normies, it's like, I don't know what Kepler is. I don't know what MetaMask is. I don't know what Station is. I don't know what these wallets are. Like, they can just like sort of be like, okay, uh, I can like connect with Google. Great. Uh, now I've got like a temporary wallet, uh, you know, that I, that I can use. And then the other thing we have is a fiat on-ramping by Akado. And we're trying to like, I think that, there's a whole bunch of work to do in figuring out like honestly just new DAOs that want to utilize the tech and patterns because uh we need we need more DAOs that are like like roar basically where they're led by influencers and they're just showing people what's possible you know that's what we really need is we need we need to educate people and the best way to do that is by you know having a good like few like standout examples for each category like you need like a standout record label DAO. You what about like, rocket fam Tick, tick, sure, tick. Yeah, what, what about yeah. we need stand up media DAOs? We need stand up like merch DAOs. We need stand up like Patreon style kind of DAOs. Like each of these things 
has to be built out so that other people that are like, I want to launch it out. I have no clue what to do. If you can like send them an example of like, hey, you want to start a media DAO? Check out this. This is how they structured it. This is how they use their tools. And you know, that's 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 the future. You you should hire us and we'll build this shit for you. Like we we'll we'll do all of that for you, man. Honestly, you've got no idea how much fucking Rock FM is dying to get it. I mean, we don't even need uh, we don't need anyone's help. You know why? Well, yeah. well, the great thing about Dow Dow is that we uh, we give uh, we do token swaps with other DAOs and uh, we give DAO tokens to contributors. It's like basically pure sweat equity. Uh, and so, you know. Do you know? Do you, you know? Guys, that was uh, Jake, really push the boundaries. You know? you know, maybe you can get some DAO tokens. Great. Jake, do you? I don't know if you know this, but do, uh, you probably don't because we're just plebs. But uh, we are, we do rack FM DAO, guys, our treasury, yeah, uh, with the six of us on the multi sig, yeah. We do own DAO tokens, and we do have 370 stakes. I know it's only a pleb amount, blah, blah, but if you look at the, like, how it's like actually spread Wait, out. You don't have a trillion. The voting power. Uh, we're talking about, dude, we're talking about DAO tokens, man. We're talking about the future, man. Uh, but we, the thing is, we got our DAO tokens just after their vote uh, to upgrade the V2. So we haven't been able to participate in DAO to DAO governance. But I know this is something that's been like close to Jake's heart for like quite a long time. And it's like something that we're so engaged in. And what we've said is, I think Bruce, Bruce, are you are you applying for are you applying this this month or not? Are we are we gonna get everything out before the end of the month? Are you are you or not? Yeah, I just need that list from you, man. You said as you would specify. As the then prop passed or not? As tonight's prop passed or not? As I don't think so, prop- yeah. He said it at what? How long did you say that left? Should Fifteen have passed, minutes. Right? Fifteen yes. minutes. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we've still got other things to do. I mean, you put the the YouTube tutorials up as well. I mean, the thing is, like, if we got fifty tokens, fantastic. It's better than nothing. Right? If we got twenty, it's better than nothing. But this month, we thought, well, if we do get DAO tokens. Uh, why, like, should we do the staking? Because we've already got the doubt. Like, why should we not maybe distribute it to the individual team members so that they can t- play partake in? And that's what the whole like uh, Juno DAO swap's been about, right? I want to like, in, as an individual and as a collective, I want to take part in DAO governance, right? DAO DAO governance, yeah. For that, you need the DAO token. So, like, I'm thinking, well, we did that that month. Why not split it individually this month? And then we've all got a stake in the game, right, Jake? Yeah, exactly. I mean, DAO DAO is going to just be a DAO DAO, but, you know, also just a lot of individuals as well. And, you know, you get the tokens, maybe you get your tokens as a DAO, and it's up to your DAO what you want to do with those tokens. So hey, we I, 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 think, I think giving them out to individuals, great idea. Love it. We staked our straight. The thing is, our first allocation, which was beautiful, by the way, uh, and it was only for like, a, you know, a couple of things like the first like uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, spaces NFT, blah, blah, a couple of things. Right. But like, w- w- like it was like, right. OK, well, the team's got a stake. Well, OK, let's do an individual one the next month, maybe. And then if we do other crazy shit and good shit in the future, then we can apply that to the team or we can apply that to maybe even our membership sub DAO. Right. It's like like we can do what the fuck we really like, 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 really. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> There's literally no limitations on what the fuck you can do with Dow Dow. It's like a, it's like you're a kid at Christmas. You're just like running around the shop, you know, in Macy's or something. That's a reference for you Americans, yeah? You're like running around in Macy's at Christmas, just like throwing shit all like, I can mint this shit. I can attach MB3 files. I can what, spin up a fucking video. What I can do? What, what is this shit? Like, it's so fucking as easy to use. Jake, uh, uh, you're going to hate me. I'm going to bring the room down here. You're going to hate me. Fuck, bro. You just need to sort mobile back out. I mean, it was beautiful previously, but obviously all the updates and all the indexing of the NFTs and stuff. Like, like yeah, okay. I'm not... Sure. Uh, Jake, Jake, can I be honest, right? I'm going to say something that I've held back on for ages. I often think that a lot of devs, a lot of them, not everyone, a lot of them, though, maybe like underrate mobile simply because of the fact that they're always on the computer, right? And, you know, the, the phones for ship posts or whatever. But actually, like, for a large percentage of the population, and especially, like, non-coding plebs like me, who, like, I live in Thailand, I like to sit in the garden, you know, I've got a hammock, and 
dogs and blah blah. Like I'm not always wanting a laptop on me. Like mobile for a lot of people to go. Oh yeah, there, especially. I, I mean, like I I think mobile is actually the most important, and uh, we're planning a mobile app for for Dada, Um, actually, uh, I think it's probably going to be more towards like Q3 or Q4, but um. Yeah, it's a it's a huge top priority for us. And then uh, if you have any issues on mobile, just screenshot them and just say what you don't like. And uh, you know Noah, like he's gonna you know get that feedback and it'll be like fixed like tomorrow. It'll be great. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. Go rewind there a minute. You got you're planning. You're planning a standalone app that'll be available or like where I don't have to go to the play of the Cutler or on on. Yeah, you just get like a beautiful full screen. DAO app that is your gateway to the inner chain. Oh, you're a right smooth talker, aren't you? Oh, I love this fella. I, 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 listen, I need to shut up anyway. We've been gone on for hours. I, 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 your man's been... I love the siren. That was a great one earlier. I don't, like, Finn will get this on the recording, but like if you heard Sefi in the airport, we went to Jake and then he had like sirens, like police sirens in the background. That was a classic. Has anybody up here got any questions for your man, Jake? Like, at the minute, just about this particular topic, because I'm going to wind down soon, fellas. Anybody? Oh, look, they're all quiet. I think you've said enough, Jake. Oh, Bruce, I'll just, uh, Robo, I'll just let you know that Prop A38 has just passed and been executed in the wreck of him now. No way. Oh, my goodness. Right. So, guys, uh, for everybody listening in the room, uh, I believe if you now click on the, the I'm not, obviously it's Robo on the Rack FM profile, but if you go and click on it, and if you go to our link in the bio, and if you click on the link, and if you go to our treasury, and then you scroll down to the NFTs, like we should have one of the best looking NFT treasuries, I think, on Dowdow. I don't think anybody can come close, like at the minute, like Jake, to the originality that's going on over there. Like, and we've embedded the spaces and shit in them. So we've got the wrap over there. We've got, like, I'm trying to tell these plebs that this is our curation. Like, no matter what we do in Omniflix or Stars or whatever, everything on what we do is ours, our curation, our museum for the future, you know. I'm really excited about what's about to come. Fucking Noah sent me a custom JSON. He's like, go on, no code play. Here you go. Just copy and paste some shit. And I'm like, cheers, bro. Watch what we're doing. Bro, Bruce, Bruce, uh, tell Jake you had a problem tonight, didn't you? What happened? I got not you've been doing it tonight, testing it, yeah? Yeah, but but I, I think I figured out the mistake. So I was oh, trying to uh, your mistake, to make... your mistake or the code. Don't no, that's the my, code. <laughs> my mistake. My mistake, man. So I paste. I think I've pasted an address in where there should be an uh, URL instead. Oh, I, well, I, I think that's also maybe our mistake because you know it's like you want to design things so that people uh, don't make mistakes like uh and also just like validation like uh there probably should have been uh, if you could take a screenshot of it of like there should have been validation that should have like popped up that said this should okay, okay, be Jake. a url or whatever yeah so just before you take any responsibility for my mistakes uh this is a json script or code or lines you know where yeah. i had oh, to yeah. input some information and i've i misread some of the information i should put in so I think I just placed it the wrong wrong places in the code. So uh, nothing to do with your UI. Well, I, or I, I would be curious of like what JSON action were you trying to do because then that means maybe bug, we can just bug prior, bug prior it's a bulk mint, Jake. It's a yeah. It's all right. Okay, Jake. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's I a know. bulk mint, uh, and I think I know what he's done because like no, like warned me about it. So like literally, guys, I just said to Bruce because. I passed like the 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 JSON on etc. And I was like, Bruce, like, do you want to have a crack at this? Like on a test, like like before we like go live, it was kind of like an experiment. And like, there you go. He's like, like this is why, guys, we're testing shit, and we're just plebs, I. But what I want to say is, listen, like, no, like this kid, and like trying to educate people and help people, like also like want to do it ourselves. You know, we want to have a go, but we didn't know how to like. It's Jake, you've got no fucking idea, man, how helpful this guy's been. It's crazy. But uh, the, the question is, Bruce, did you manage to bulk mint on the test accounts or not? Did you manage? No, no, so I, no, no I just figured this out like 10 minutes ago. So the, the place where I should put in the JSON metadata URL, right? I put in the fucking collection address. 
So that's the mistake. Oh, you didn't, did you? Oh, good. Okay. Pleb, pleb. It was, yeah, it was you know, before I had dinner. So I must, you know what would be a really yeah. great doubt, doubt out contribution is that after you figure this out, just make a really quick YouTube video on it and share it and uh, we'll get it like retweeted. But just like just a simple, <laughs> simple video, like, bo- like here's how you bulk upload NFTs on Dao Dao. Just like one topic, don't o- like don't overcomplicate it, and then ship it, and like that's a really great contribution. Also, don't I'll do that, it. man. You're tired of the the 21 minute videos I'm doing or what? <laughs> I really hate with the 21 minute videos. It's like just give me like one video that's like one topic in like two minutes. Yeah, yeah. it's a good point, man. A topic on how I'll, 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 I'll take it. I'll take it. Thanks. So, thanks. So- just for everyone in the room, what Bruce actually did there, like like using the collection address, like that's a pleb move, like like yeah, <laughs> like you. Could... Bro, man, bro, I love the <laughs> fact you have to keep stating it, man. I can take it. I can take it. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. It's not a pleb. Yeah, we love dude. each other. The stuff is I'm really joking. confusing. So like, just say, uh, just we're all learning. It all it, it all takes time, but um, yeah, Jake, keep, keep at it. Jake, do you know why I give Bruce shit, right? Is because, like, uh, Don and uh, Joe are both coming after him, right? I didn't know why. Like, it surprised us, right? And we were, we were like, what the fuck? So I was like, all right, okay, Bruce. So, like, I might have to repeat it, like, be a little bit, like, you know, harder on you just because these dudes are going, but, like, we know how this works, man. Like, I, I was saying to Bruce, like, do you want, do you want to have a crack at this? Like, because, oh, like, I, I, I don't know. I think, uh, Jake, how hard is it to learn code? I mean, I think I've got about the next two years to three, and I'm not shitting you, next two years to three years where I can probably, if I fuck off off spaces a bit and only do the specials and shit, I can probably get a bit of free time, right? Like, how long does it actually take to, like, understand and really be able to produce this shit like this? Uh, I will say it's a never-ending process. Like, you're always learning new things, and you just keep learning new things. And that if you think of it like that, you know, just keep keep learning new things. Uh, coding is great. Uh, there's this amazing tool that uh, exists now that didn't exist uh, back in the day when I was learning how to co- code, and it's called uh, ChatGPT. And just, uh, you know, you can basically use that to, like, not just help you write code, but help you understand it. Like, you can just say, like, uh, you know, write me a script that, you know, is a, is a basic Twitter bot and responds to mentions or whatever. Um, and then, like, it'll, like, basically, like, write you that script and just be, like, Okay, like explain this line to me, like what's happening here. Um, I do recommend like there's a million things to learn in coding, but I would start with like a language like Python, which is like pretty straightforward and very simple and like kind of learn the basics. And then, yeah, feel free to leverage all the new tools like ChatGPT and stuff to like really help you like be more productive, but also kind of explain like what's happening. And like it's, it's, re- it's not always the best at writing code. It's actually really shitty sometimes, but you know, it's really good at actually like explaining what a piece of code does, like in plain English. So um, it's a really useful tool. So yeah, I would learn like the basics of Python and then uh, just kind of go from there. But you just have to realize it's kind of like a never ending process. And the thing is, you just have to like, try it. Like when I was like, I don't know, like 17 and like, making my first websites, I didn't know how to make a fucking website and have any fucking credentials i had no clue what the fuck i was doing but you know you just you just keep going and yeah you make a lot of mistakes along the way but you learn from it and yeah just embrace embrace don't be afraid to make mistakes and just start doing it like that's the only way just start trying to like write some code um but i, I do recommend python is like a great kind of beginner language uh trevor or, or croncat uh i don't know if you have thoughts on recommendations for people learning to code um yeah look at <clears throat> the thing that got me interested was like looking at other people's projects if you look at their code you may not understand it use gpt to explain it but best way to learn is actually to dissect what other people are doing are, are you talking about reverse engineering i think this guy i smelt this guy yeah, yeah, he's like me isn't he uh, are you talking about reverse engineering shit there yeah? yeah why not Ah, that's what that's what real life job. A lot of that's the what I mean. plain text in JavaScript, you can view source. Like we used to rip apart jQuery <laughs> a long time ago, and really figure out how websites were running. So yeah, there's a lot of websites. 
There's a lot of websites really? on GitHub too. So you can just find a website on GitHub, like just Google like React website or whatever, and then just copy it to like your local computer and then just give yourself challenges. Like I want to change the logo. I want to change the title. And then you can just kind of like search for the text of the logo and just be like, oh, that's where that is. And then you can like replace it with your own logo and uh, run it to see if it like actually kind of does the job and then kind of like get on on to the next thing. It's a really, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like reverse. You, you're basically taking something that's already working and then you're just like modifying it to like get it to do what you want it to do or get it to like look how you want it to look. And in the process, you're actually kind of like subconsciously learning a bunch of stuff by like just taking it apart dude that's why i'm like the best fucking sat teacher on the planet i am literally the only one that's absolutely 100 percent i can find online that's like reverse engineered the entire sat test uh joe and i is joe still here or is he gone oh joe was in earlier he popped in for like five minutes uh joe and i had a great talk about this the other week but like literally it's something like one of the hardest tests in the world right which you can compare to like gordon or whatever you want to like i'm not like literally you you take that like like what is it at the center and you just break that shit apart into its smallest fucking entities and you'll figure it out eventually like it's not rocket science like i nobody taught me this i never learned this i never went to someone and said teach me how to teach the sat or that never happened literally i'm i'm one like i've written my own book right i would profess to say this right here right now and i've talked to john john knows how good i am right like literally i'm one of the best sat teachers in the world and it's one of the hardest fucking exams there is and the only way i did it and i think i've shared me mind maps before i might have to go and find them like the only way you can do it is by literally like just dismantling it into the the smallest fucking entity that's possible and then like examining it and trying to figure it out so that's just what you guys have done now you've ripped apart codes and you've looked at them right Croncat? is that what yeah, i'm thinking of one started that way um actually example last week i took some some json from a blockchain explorer and threw that in gpt and i was i was hoping it would do something else but instead it actually went line by line explaining what the transaction was doing. And I think that could be really important for people that are not technical. If you really want, you know, you, there's transparency, right? But part of that is understanding. If you really want to understand it, something, like start by having somebody interpret it for you. And GPT is like here now, it's, it's pretty sweet. And then you can take that and either craft your own, learn from what it's telling you, or, use it again to reinterpret what you want to do and it'll likely transpose it to what you're you're thinking bro bro we need to we need to shut you the fuck up you know why because uh we need you on a fucking on a proper show on a special uh this is not for like the end of a fucking five hour show when people are fucking fast forwarding and shit we need you where on a, what like what i'm hearing jake fucking diamond isn't he? yeah we should do another show uh i i do actually have to get back to like work though but, uh, I'm gonna wind it up. Great. Wait, Jake, live. I want no, no. I'm, you're not going yet, you cunt. Uh, wait there. I Edward. need to ask him, Jake one question before he goes. We are be quick, Bruce, because this is really important. What I've got. Well, wait, wait, Bruce. You can ask your question. Wait, I need to nail Jake here. Right, Jake. If I can arrange a time with you and Function, and that's it, just you two across the table. Will you come on and I can moderate just like the three of us? And I just want to sit back and listen to you two, and maybe prompt you. Will you do that for me or not? Sure, yeah, totally. Just uh, you got my you got my DMs. Oh fucking hell, I'm gonna hook that right up for fucking next week or some shit when you're free. Fucking hell, that'll be a banger. Just we all sit back and listen to the big brains. Ray Bruce, go on. Oh, that's a that's gonna be a banger. So uh, Jake, how do I find the token U R I for an NST collection on Juno? The JSON meter data URL. How do I find that? <laughs> uh, so uh, there's a token query. Um, actually, it might be easier to just like do this over DMs. But um, there's a there's a there's a token query that you can that you can use, uh, which will return the token URI. And then when you get the token URI, that's like a you have to like look that up, and that's that'll give you the the JSON. Um, 
Uh, okay, I think I think you're good. It, it, it might it might be easier to do this like over chat, but um, yeah, basically, uh, there's a query uh, that like you just can query for an individual token. So you you just like uh, like do the query the token query, and you pass in the token ID that you want, and uh, it'll return the token URI and all the extra info information about it, like the owner, etc. Yeah, thanks, Bruce. Jake's like, I've got a fuck off robot. And then Bruce is like, all right, wait a minute. I just need a technical explanation of like the longest question in history. <laughs> now, man. Also, Bruce, think, Bruce, come to the come yeah. to the next code, code and chill because we're going to be working with like NFT custom NFT contracts there. So probably a really good learning opportunity. Awesome. I, I, I'll drop by on Sunday, man. Thanks. I think I found the Juno docs on the, on the query you're talking about. It doesn't fuck around, Bruce, you know? Uh, if it doesn't work, just like DMs or like uh, we can like chat about it and like you know Discord or whatever. But yeah, uh, right, Jake. Less, it's probably it's probably actually easier to just do over chat. To be honest, Jake, you've been absolutely a fucking diamond in the fucking sky tonight, dude. Honest to God, I like you've come in at the end of the show and just fucking butchered it. Like what a fucking episode this is tonight. Uh, thank you very much, my friend. We appreciate you a lot. You know the community is always fucking back in here because you just like spit facts. Take care. I hope you don't get robbed because I heard the police sirens earlier. See you in a bit, brother, right? All right. Yeah, later. Peace out. Thanks, Jake. Thanks a lot, man. Take care. And I do want to make a point, though, of saying, like, I want to make a public apology to Timmy. Like, I didn't want to cut Timmy off, right, at all. Like, like, that's, like I just fucking knew I had to. There's a big difference between like like wanting to do something and knowing you've got to fucking do it. Like because the show had been going on like what three and a half, nearly four hours or something, and we'd asked all of these like big people like the same kind of questions. Like, Reed, people need to fucking understand that this summit didn't work like the others. Uh, the last two, we've this is the third, right? The more successful, by the way. <laughs> hinted uh the the first two like we had at this time everyone was agreed blah 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 it was bang on right <clears throat> and uh, everybody joined at the same time tonight is being staggered and it's the first time we've ever like encountered this like like st so we've had to work with what's been gone and honest to god timmy if it hadn't been that environment if it had been like the kind of normal environment where we'd had like everyone from the beginning, from the whole thing, where I could ask everybody the questions, I would never have done that to you, Timmy. Right? I want everyone to know this at the end of the spaces, like before we wrap up and do everything else, right? I really want to know, everyone to know that I did not want to cut fucking Timmy off there with Jake, but I fucking knew I had to for the continuation of the show. Am I talking shit, Bruce, or am I okay? I think you're okay, man. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't want to get sidetracked with like another interviewer, like after uh, the whole fucking show that's been going on. And I know there might have been valid questions, but I had to ask those like the acronym question, the fucking micro or macro. Like, like, like we're plebs. How much do we fucking know? I just want to get these people talking. Isn't our job to facilitate a conversation, right? I don't want to get people across. So. Exactly. Absolutely. I think Why also it's we... very nice. I think it's very nice of you to explain it. To the space, to the room. No, I want to cross me down in the. I want. I wouldn't disrespect someone like that, like because I, I really felt bad at the time. Like I had to like date like three or four times. I was like, bro, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. We have to go, and then it's not like you didn't want to date that man. You, you make yourself like be like a prick. So therefore, you have to rectify the situation by you know making an apology or whatever. But I have to say this: we're gonna wind it down. We're gonna fucking wind it down, and we'll we'll wind it down from the top of the fucking tree. Croncat, uh, next 12 to 18 months, right? So, like, towards the end of next year, as we're expecting, like, what's going to happen, Bitcoin halve and blah, blah. Uh, dude, DAOs, where do we end up? What's the end game? You see what Rack FM are doing. We don't give a fuck. We're causing fucking havoc. We're going to do more shit. We're going to do everything that DAOs allow us to do. Where do we end up, Croncat? You got to think in terms of, you know, humans are are powerful in thinking and let the DAO automate everything that you're intending to do. So as a DAO, the proposal is time consuming, but let it be the configuration, not the execution. Let the execution actually be handled by things like Concat. 
So you can do the important stuff and then let it go. Dude, uh, I, I wonder, I wonder what Rag FM Dow and Kronka can do in the future. Like, we have to really keep in touch and anything we can do to scratch each other's backs as long as, like, you know, there's integrity involved and progression and blah, blah, blah. Like, like we'd love to, like, I don't know, even if it's just conversations, etc., or bounce ideas. Yeah, man. I'm, dude, I'm all about this right now. Fucking... If, if we yeah, don't yeah. Do, let's let's set up a call. Let's have uh, some fun playing around. Aren't we? Aren't we about to build or like what effectively would be what the like the the would it be the fourth uh, iteration of uh, crypto? Like, if you think about it, like that twenty twenty thirteen blah blah right, and then if you think about the ICOs, and if you think about like the last like proper like buller, obviously. And then what we're into now, and then DAOs are like emergent. Yeah, are we? We are the emergent technology. If you're back on DAOs, you're back on winners. Is that right? I sure hope so. Like human co- coordination and stuff is really difficult, especially with time constraints. And like DAOs and automation are actually a huge UX fix. If we can get DAOs and automation right there's going to be a lot of amazing things that can happen. And there's open doors that happen too. Like if you think about gaming, if you have a DAO that's coordinating an AI player, a DAO is configuring how the the game is played and letting the AI in real time stream its activity. Maybe it's the DAO adjusting its, you know, advantageous stance or something. Then yeah, things get like hyperscale. Have you spoken to the? Uh, have you ever spoken to the Rack devs yet or not? And more laws up. Have you ever had a conversation with them, Cole? Not, not yet. Let's do it. Fucking hell, right, Bruce? No, right, that's your fucking job. Sort that right out tomorrow, quick as quick as fuck, right? Sorry, bro. I was, I wasn't really listening right now. I'm ready. Oh, but you want to be? Pay attention, boss. Come on. Put sorry, the tone in the middle. Now. <laughs> Put the tone. Hey, no, nah, man. Croncat needs to be having a fucking call with Zap and Nair Mull. They, they were both listening. And that, honestly, I, I'm going to do this because this is like Rack FM and it wouldn't be true to us if we didn't do it. I, like, I'm not going to say like, oh, our devs are the best or blah, blah. That's like, you're right. I, a fucking dev is as good as his last fucking line of code, right? But literally, you just need to look. When, when it comes to fucking devs, and uh, Shane commented, uh, Shane from Stars commented on this like the other day about like how many people are lobbing as devs, blah, blah. Just you need to look at what the ship, right? Like, okay, what have these fuckers sh- like shipped? Like what works? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, when people can write the code, when people can ship the code, Bronca will tell you, Netadow will tell you. That's what fucking matters, right? And our devs are on point. Stargate. I've been saying this all along. Bruce, watch your mic. Bruce, watch your mic. All right, thank you. Oh, you Bruce, you got to watch that hot mic sometimes, son. Well, uh, I actually I... want to make a point on that. Like, yeah, not to toot our own horn here, but like, Dowdo has given non developers tools to, to execute at the same level. Maybe they're not shipping contracts, but they're like capable now to do pretty complex things with the Dow. And they don't have to be developers. There's a lot of templates in there for doing a lot of the things. And actually, you'll see this pretty soon when we come into public beta. But you're able to do a lot of those same templates that Data has, as well as a ton of new ones, so that you don't have to be a dev. You can be hoping to have some goal achieved. And there's actually a lot of code written for you that you can template out and figure out how to, to solve your problems. Or even, you know, make your DAO do some crazy shit. I'll tell you what, I didn't worry about your, your kid. I can hear your kid in the uh, the background. Do you know something, Cronkart? When you come on the Rack FM spaces, like we all have like like dogs and kids and there's all shit going on. We love it, dude. We go to the toilet and everything, man, on Rack FM, man. None of us give a fuck, you know. That's the best thing about this channel is that like literally everybody comes in. They're like, oh, fucking hell. Someone took a piss. Uh, someone has someone had a bong and fucking had a seizure. Like it's like everybody's like, oh well, nobody cares. But man, I like, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, listen. 
I was fucking bullish on on pretty much like everything Dow before this space. Uh, <clears throat> I can't even begin to to say to you guys like like how this has come off now. For anyone that's been in and out, in and out, I know a lot of you are and see Risby's back in, the speakers. I wish Timmy would come up because I want to really want to speak to Timmy and apologize. Uh, but like there's Chris there, like, I, like right, it, how are you going to keep a conversation going about DAOs for five hours? Well, it's because they are fucking very interesting subjects. And there's a lot of things uh, being built, right, around fucking DAOs right now. Yeah, and I'm going to wait a minute. Guys, I've got a cough off the joint. Wait a minute. I got to run, but it's been no, no, wait, awesome wait, wait, wait. hanging out with everybody. Oh, oh, I do. Oh, sorry. I do apologize. Go and take care. I do. I just wanted to give this like little speech, right? Like, like I, I came in here like really bullish. And and honest to God, after this conversation now, man, and I think about all these people wanting to separate from these like restraints of things and combine like games and NFTs. And Bruce, what I'm trying to say is that you cannot listen to tonight and not be so fucking bullish, right? How could you not? Oh, it's insane. And where do the possibilities end? I mean, we've just had like vesting contracts drop, right? We've got Polytone coming, like we've got cross chain liquidity stakings, man. Bros, man, the cross chain NFTs with obviously the game, game of NFTs round two's just kicked off. It's like fucking if you're you're like an ostrich with your fucking head in the sand right now if you're not paying attention to what's going on in this industry, and it's absolutely electric. But don't be a fucking dickhead, right? Didn't it just gone like. Think you can create some DAO and think you're going to do like the strategic planning. If you're going to create a company or something, right, guys? Like we're going to, or an enterprise, yeah. Uh, actually, we're foundation, Panamanian foundation, but we're, we're going to be an enterprise, right? We're good. Uh, like if you're going to do this, right? Like, like literally, like secure your shit. Like think about it, the steps that you need to take. In regards to governance and like waited like okay uh okay Bruce the the room is fairly educated right uh, no I would say so they're not daft they're not daft but but we're seeing what's what, what's in front of us right yeah we've got NFT DAOs we've got tokenized DAOs we've got multi sig DAOs that can be weighted blah blah whatever right like and then we've got sub DAOs like if you fuck your structure up early. Like you need to be able to fix it. Like you can literally be locked out of like your own fucking sub DAO if you don't be careful. Like you'd be locked out of your own DAO if you're not fucking careful. But like it's really, really tricky. Like to create an organizational structure is what I'm saying. We're like we're holding back now. Like fucking, I tell you what, one of the best people in the room for this is probably Net a DAO. I mean, I was supposed to be winding up, but fuck it, let's go. I'm off work tomorrow. Not a DAO, right? Like the, the the DAO parent DAO sub DAO structure, you know. Like if you like us, come on, take us as a test case. Like Rag FM, a group of Asians come together, got these talents, blah blah. Well, you know what we're doing. You're following us, right? Okay. And then we want to have like this membership, like sub DAO. Not a DAO. How do you play what we're trying to do? Because we're fucking struggling, mate. We're we've, we're seventy five percent of the way there. Uh, can you can you say more about what you're struggling with? Well, it's the membership. Like, how do we get our audience into a circular economy where it benefits, like, like not just the team, like, in regards to what we can put back into it, right, into, like, production and blah, 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 right, but also benefits, like, the, the, the community, the DAO, like, like, how do you break? Like, okay, we we had two hundred and twenty five people collected three NFTs to qualify for a fourth. So, t like uh, like we had more. I think it was uh, three hundred and nineteen on the first NFT. We had two hundred and eighty nine on the second NFT. See how good I am on my figures, like Shark Tank, right? And we had uh, two hundred and sixty eight on the third NFT. 
Uh, and then out of those numbers, the people that had collected the all three was 225. Not how many NFTs we dropped on that first drop, right? That's not a bad participation number for people that have had to go through like three individual tasks and like obviously proof of uh, attendance or proof of part. I hear proof of pop, pop, pop. I didn't like looking at pop. P-O-A, I like looking at P-O-A. Oh, we've lost it. Did we lose Netta? Fuck, we lost Netta. Ah, uh, fuck. When someone jump, jumps out, I, I, I'm like, oh, shit, we lost them. Bruce, did we lose them or not? I'm not oh, sure, no. man. I know my, in, uh, my display is laggy. He's back, is He's he? He's requested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get him in? Don't know why he dropped that. Did that cut out or not? Hey, Bruce, sorry, I, I heard you part of the question, but then my... Twitter Spaces does this thing where it like mutes for some reason for like long stretches of time. So I dropped and rejoined. Uh, can you can you restate that again? Sorry, I missed. Uh, uh, dude, you know something? It's that late for me after this many hours. Or like I'm I'm fucking lost on the question. Like 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 literally, I'm like where are we, where was I again? Where was I again? Because I was waiting for the their opinion. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So the question the question about how to Oh, my Finn, Finn will cut this. Don't worry, Finn will cut this out. But then he'll not. He'll be like, oh, you thought I was going to cut it out? But oh, motherfucker, I didn't. Well, then I'll just spoil it for him. He'll have to cut it out now. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, the question of... Uh, I heard you ask about how to how to get people into a circular economy um, and how to drive value, not just, I guess, to the DAO, but to the broader ecosystem. Was there more to it than that? It's It's not about that. It's about your audience, man. Like, like, what do we want? Really, what do we want? We want a, like a constant audience. What do we want to do? We want to re reward that audience, right? Like, don't you like if people come and like, like, isn't that how this like should work? Is that like if people like come and listen to your fucking show, like, aren't they? Like, like the people, like, you're like, oh, wow, thank you very much. Like, like, we're plebs. You come and listen to us. Like, well, can we do something for you? Like, isn't that like the difference or what we're trying to do? Uh, that's what I think we're trying to do anyway. I, I like, look, look at the approach. I mean, how would you define Rack FM's approach or like what we're trying to Because none of us really know. I mean, Bruce, are we ringing? Uh, ringing. How are we? <laughs> Fucking hell. It's late for me. It's been a long, it's been a good few hours of Robo speaking. Jesus, I've had like, what, four litres of water? Seven beers? Fucking six blips. I mean, I'm I'm doing well. Bruce, define Rack FM because you're obviously you you know you you came in when you did blah 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 right etc cetera, etc. Cetera. We've seen everything, but define what Rack FM stands for and what we're trying to do. So what what we stand for? We stand for authenticity. We stand for transparency, and we stand for front running. Absolutely, man. Culture. <laughs> and culture. We stand for culture, man. Culture is upstream of, of governance. You said it many times. And we are here to create culture and we're here to create community. And we're here to voice our opinion. Opinions. But also we know, also we know that communities that are out there have got, you know, decent community funds that are sitting doing fuck all. And we're willing to say it, well, we're willing to stake them on, like, however long, like, rest and schedule you want to. Like, we're willing to, like, take a little bit of sponsorship to, like, up our game to, like, send everybody merch. C can you imagine if, like, Omniflix and Stargaze, like, come together and said, right, okay, like... The, the, however many people like like did this thing to get this NFT will will pay for all the merch or something like like it's not like yeah we're gonna need a bit of salary at some time like I'm the only fucker who's like put money into Rack FM right I need a couple hundred bucks to fuck all but like that's not the point I'm not like like invested wise with time energy Bruce will tell you. I mean, we didn't tonight. Didn't work out how it should. Uh, the randomness one, we, the randomness summit, the first one, we executed like perfection, and we had like AI, API three, 
Any any plebs in the cosmos? There's a challenge. Go on, go on DM API three. Get them in your space. It's not going to fucking happen, bro. All right, that's all I'm saying. And we're not the circuit. Second summit that we did was the LSD. <laughs> Look at what fucking happened there. No comment, right? Enough said, yeah. Tonight was mad as fuck. We had function come in like what, 35 minutes, bro? Then we had uh, Onyx Dow creeping. Hey, that was fucking hell, man. Jesus. And then, then, then we got Nether Rubber and Atlas. Like, like, honestly, God, guys. Uh, and I'm going to have to. If Finn, Finn's going to kill me shortly if I don't wind that fucking show down. And you can imagine. I'm making my comments now, so that pleb can make his comments later. And we're going to guarantee you when this show comes out, if you listen to this argument between me and Finn, it's going to be hilarious. You know why? Because I don't take holidays. Oh, that's right, Finn. You think you're the only one that can come in and comment on these spaces, yeah? Is that right, Finn? I, Fulf. Dude, I've never even heard of it. I'm 46 years old. Finn, are you listening? What the fuck are you playing at, you stupid daft cunt? Fulf. Frisbee with golf. I mean, I knew you were Americans were backward, dude. And I knew the, the Northwestern up in there, the, the, the Portland fucking hippie you were. Even worse. Dude, what's going Finn, on here? Be careful when you come at Robo. Oh, it's Timmy. It's Timmy. It's Timmy. It's Timmy. It's Timmy's coming to kill Finn. No, I just, I had to take a call, a very long call, and multiple times during that, I kept hearing my name from from my bed where I tossed my phone under the pillow. I heard Robo going, I do wish Timmy will come back. <laughs> so I'm back. Bro, we're shitting, we're, we're shitting on fucking 8 Mile, Mr. Fucking Spaghetti oh on the fucking God. sweater with his fucking dictionary. As a video we're, editor, that made me very happy seeing that. I, As a music oh, video I have editor, to say, actually. <laughs> I have to say, though, Finn's rap. I mean, imagine the smell. Like, if anyone knows about why the, like, Twitter spaces was put in there and Beto's art, blah, blah, blah. Like, Finn's lyrics, like, has to be the toiletries is uh, like that. Th this is going to be in uh, etched in IBC history, like forever. Right. But Timmy, listen, I really fucking want to apologize face to face, bro, about that earlier. Cause you know something where we had all these guests in like the, like uh, the first guest, like 110 K followers. I'm like, fucking don't fuck up Robo. Well, I like, and it was like staggered and it was like kind of, a. Uh, uh, it wasn't a normal night to me. It was kind of like where we had this guest for half an hour and then this guest came in. It was like 15 minutes, nobody else there. And then this one came in. I mean, we had eggheads listening like for ages and I'm like panicking. So like, dude, it, like, yeah, man, I just wanted to apologize because I would never do that on a normal show. But tonight was weird as fuck. You understand me? Yeah. Oh, I don't sound upset, do I? No worries. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I felt like I was quite rude. Like, like, like I felt like I had to be kind of rude. No, you, 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 you sounded that. like you had an agenda. And you were trying to get through shit. I respect I that. Do, no I, I did, and it pains me, Timmy, because I fucking hate agendas. <laughs> Sorry to. <laughs> I fucking hate agendas. That's, that's, that's a good one. I just want to fuck shit up sometimes. I mean, to me, we went dark tonight and we went dark in the light. I think, I mean, Reed, to me, it's a good question. Listen, it's 3 a.m. I started this at 9 30. In 30 minutes, we've been running the spaces focused on solidly DAOs for six hours. Who so you're, 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 going, you're going for the 24 hour? No, point, no, 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 no. I'm oh, finishing. Yes, you are. No, I'm finishing the But yes, Timmy, you are. who else? Who else in the <laughs> industry? To me, who else in the industry could hold a, a, a six hour space on DAOs other than Rack FM? No one. Dude, my voice couldn't even hold up for six hours. Topic aside. Like... <laughs> my phone just hit zero percent and my face just went white like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Yeah, Jacob. Oh, oh, my face went right there. Jacob, you had your hand up earlier. And I'm really sorry, dude. It's been madness tonight. It's really hard to control this room. But what were you going to say earlier, Jacob? No? Did Jacob have his hand up or was that on drugs? Might have been what drugs. happened? Uh, 
I can't believe tonight is the first fucking. Oh, sorry, Jacob speaking, and I'm getting rugs. Are we good? Oh no! I, I tell you, I tell you, you asked me a question. Never mind. Oh, I did, dude. No, no, no. I, I thought you had your hand up early and I thought you were going to ask a question and we were fucking going for that long. I thought your hand had dropped. No, sorry, dude. Yeah, no, no worries. You good? I, I, forgot, I forgot what I was going to ask, but it's fine. Oh, dude, we do this all the time. That's Rack FM for you, isn't it? I must say, I can't believe this is the first time that Bruce has caught an uh, net of doubt. And, like, Bruce is going to be so angry tonight. He's going to be punching himself in the face, like, in front of the bathroom mirror tonight. You're down horrendous, Bruce, aren't you? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Your man came on talking about the Marshall Islands and everything was beautiful. I will say, though, guys, yeah, listen, he's, he's, he's fucking really intelligent, like Timmy. Like, I must say this, right? Right with things like this. Timmy, we've asked every fuck of the night and we're going to finish it with you, right? DAO, the acronym. Some people regard as a fucking joke. Like, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, decentralized, just exactly what is fucking decentralized? Just how much needs to be just like, okay, autonomous. I mean, the O we can all agree on. We're all fine with like, okay, organizations, you know, gathering of people, group of people, blah, blah. And this is the same question, by the way, Timmy, that I've asked every fucking guest in function six or five hours ago, right? Nearly six hours ago. Yeah, yeah, the last man in the fucking trench, right? So I just want to give you the fucking, the landscape, the scene there, brother, right? I'm not going to fucking shit shot you at this stage of the game. I'm not, I'm not that guy, right? So the O we can all agree on, the fucking D and the A, right, of this acronym. Where, where do we fucking start, Timmy? Go on. Where do we start? Well, what needs to be fucking decentralized? Like, 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 a, like a is racket. First off, people don't even know what an acronym means for it to catch on. Like, most people have no idea what www or https or even fucking fda or any of these things stand for. The underlying words don't matter too much, to be honest. Like, DAO's catchy enough as a word. Um, I don't know what what what, what exactly is the question. <laughs> Well, it was it was no like like a people like okay. I'm a big well, believer. For Dow and Dow. I'm a, no, no, I'm a big believer in DAOs, but people push back on like that acronym. People like, well, it's not fucking decentralized. Like what you're talking about, or you know, it's not autonomous. Like people have to fucking do shit all the time. Like like like, what, mm -hmm. you know, where's that borderline? I mean, we've asked everybody tonight, and we've had some fucking unbelievable answers. Like, I'm just saying to you, like like. The acronym DAO, like, like in your mind, it's an what, do you see? what do you see? Uh, well, I think like the DNA parts of it are inaccurate. And so like, I, I kind of disassociate the word DAO from the technical meaning of the words behind the acronym. I just, I think of DAOs. I don't think they should be compared no, to like but, but, but it's a representation. The acronym is a representation of what it is. All right. Okay. So well, let's not call the acronym route a decentralized autonomous organization. Let's call the full route, but the acronym is just representation. So like, like, I think, I, I, think like I think what the acronym is trying to get at is that the decentralization is autonomous and that the organization is decentral like it's almost like the order of the words <laughs> aren't in the right order um but like one thing i i think this is what i was going to bring up earlier uh with when jake was here like that i don't like is that we've moved away from the term multi-sig like what i was my biggest com the only complaint i've ever log lodged with dow dow is i was like why don't you call them multi-sigs anymore you now call them member based DAOs. like that's I think that's an important like language is important. Language shapes the way we interact with and think with about things. Um, and I think there's like a distinction there, right? Like if if you're using a DAO the way that we do for a lot of Spark things, so we have a lot of Spark things where we have a multi-sig set up purely for security. It's not for the decentralization aspect. It's so that if any one of our wallets get hacked, that's not enough to like change our code. They would have to hack at least two out of this, like two or three, two out of three multi-sig we have that's the actual admin for our contracts. Um, 
that's not a DAO in any capacity. I mean, like, I guess technically it's a DAO, but it's not a DAO in the way people might think of a DAO when you say, oh, we're making a community DAO or something. So, like, that's why I think these language linguistic definitions are important and different and even then within DAOs, there's various levels of where do you get the decentralization from is it inherent in the members of the DAO, like how many there are in the token distribution or does it matter more about what network it's on like if the DAO is on a network that's not very decentralized then does is it still a DAO? um like, I don't know if there are DAOs on Solana or not, but like, if so, are they actually DAOs? I don't I think, I don't know. I think, Neda, I think Neda, DAO has a question for you. Go on, man. Yeah. Uh, well, not so much a question, but uh, just going back to your earlier question, Robo, uh, <clears throat> I think that what I, when I said decentralization as a process rather than a state, uh, and you ask, how do we bring, bring people in? How do we uh, you know, do it for the culture? Um, I know Jake said that we shouldn't over-optimize DAOs. If you have six people, you don't need a bunch of sub-DAOs. Um, but, but that's really where I think you can grow is by establishing structures um, that make it easier to facilitate people in and out uh, as, as they want or as their interests dictate. Um, <clears throat> and also, I think uh, Jake mentioned AI DAOs, which uh, I, I agree that those are likely, but uh, I also think that autonomy and automatic uh, are in some sense opposed terms, uh, and sometimes people confuse them. Uh, a thing being automatic precisely means that you you have no autonomy over it or you have no autonomy in it. Uh, so you can you can spin it sort of in two ways. Um, <clears throat> I guess my final thought is just that AI, uh, from my perspective, is is going to see this like huge profusion of fake news, of simulacra, of uh, a, a simulated reality. And blockchain is probably the only trustworthy technology to store uh, authentic real world information somewhere. Um, <clears throat> so as much as AI might become part of DAOs, uh, I also think that there's a kind of blockchain uh, versus AI that, that will play. Bro. Bro, how do we how do we make, how do we make sure though, right? That like the non coders like myself don't fall behind, and it's it's through Dow Dow technology and like things like this, like 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 this is the future to help people like me who are a player and who can't code, right? Is like this is why I'm so excited on that. Is that right? right? That should be helping me, and I, I, we have to bring Punk in here because like he's been weird. But I'll tell you, the coders are far more at risk of losing what makes them special from AI than you are, Robo. Uh, funny enough. Oh, that's a good comment. I'll tell you what, that's probably the most base fucking comment we've heard in six and a half hours, actually, like, dude. <laughs> no, it, I'm like, in the last like, four months, there's been this massive sort of opinion shift or realization that, like, ironically enough, base and mid-level coding jobs and, like, positions are one of the most under threat by AI because, and it makes sense at its core, because of what an AI is, it's a computer program, of course it's going to be exceptionally adept at writing code and like doing it efficiently. It just needs to, like once it hits the point of not making little syntax errors and understanding what it's doing, like that's over. Like you don't need front end designers anymore. You literally take a Figma file, give it to, which is probably also AI generated at that point, give it to an AI and it turns it into a responsive desktop, mobile, tablet, full website, like boom. Um, whereas you're not going to have to AI me, that me, can wait, actually... To me, wait, I'm, I honest to God, dude, listen to this, five prompts, five prompts and you can create a fucking entire like massive SEO marketing campaign and everything. Like it's ridiculous. Like, well, let me give like, you a prediction. Like, what the fuck? Let me give you a prediction. Sometime in the next year, probably in the next six months, there's going to be a news story that there is a completely AI built and run blockchain where an AI went out and sourced some funds somehow. Someone probably gave us some seed funds to start, bought some Hetzner AWS servers to spin up nodes, used the Cosmos SDK or something similar to like launch a chain, is validating everything on it. and then boom it like that's gonna happen soon 
just as a crazy thought I've been thinking without, about lately. Without, without a shadow of a doubt. No, no, dude, I'm, I'm in total agreement. Air uh, Tank. Where, where's Tank? Oh, where's Tank on? No, we am. I, oh, you've dropped down as a listener on my screen. Hello, matey. Oh, he just did for me as you said that. Come back, oh. Tank. I miss you. Oh, we've lost him. Oh, wait a minute. Give us a wave. We have to get a minute. Come on. I mean, guys, listen, uh, this has never been done before. We're making history tonight uh, with this Dow Summit. I mean, we thought it was going to be two hours. The thing is, the, the real funny irony is that Finn, right now, his prop is, like, going to pass, but he's on holiday, and he's going to have to come back, and the first thing he's going to see is that Rack FM have done, like, a fucking however long this shit goes on for, right? Finn's going to come back, and he's like, you fucking absolute bunch of cunts. He's going to hate us, man. And you know something? I'm going to be like, bro, bro, you've just got fucking 70k, bro. Well, 65. Got you're, you're, you're five. Yeah, you're five, bro. You're five. Anyway, Tank's here. Tank's going to do back. that, man. Let me down. Tank, back. Tank, what's the crap? Right, Dow. Uh, let's let's open the, the Tank. What's happening with Manek Dow? What are you doing, bro? Oh, we're just waiting. We're just we're patiently waiting. Um, I love the conversation. Sorry about that earlier. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't hear uh, you, Robo, after I, I logged on, so I just logged off real quick and came back. Sorry, bro. Um, what a blessing. Hmm? What about that? <laughs> <laughs> I said what a blessing, I kid. No, oh, um, but, Jimmy. Uh, you know, oh, from- Jimmy, I heard that. He's like, I couldn't hear Robo. Timmy's like, what a blessing, you little cunt. All right. Go on, Tom. <laughs> no, no, no. So what, from when I was able to jump in uh, and listen, uh, I actually love the conversation. Uh, and, you know, it's a big reason why um, we uh, as a group have been just patiently waiting. Because right now, I think there's a lot of things that need to, not just definitions, but a lot of tooling and whatnot that also still needs to be kind of figured out and ironed out as well. Uh, and so we're just waiting. We're patiently waiting and, uh, you know, unfortunately, manually doing things. but luckily as well we're not at that big to where it's you know that stressful but yeah we're just waiting and i i think the the conversation between ai like meta was saying um with ai and and blockchain um i don't want to say it being like a battle uh later on uh, but i definitely do see a conflict of sorts when it comes to um like mass adoption use case or like um, acceptability and stuff like that for, for what they both do. Uh, I think that's going to be really, really interesting in the years to come. Oh, fucking tanks always on the fucking money, isn't he? And Netta Dow's giving you, oh, go on, Netta Dow, what are you going to say? Oh, no, I don't have anything to add. I, I just agree. Oh, he's giving the fucking thumbs up. He's got, I tell you what, I, I, there has to be fucking something said about Tank, like we have to have a Tank in this industry. Like his fucking name should tell you exactly like, like what's going on there. You say the name Tank and you think, oh, this is going to be fucking a, a fucking garden of fucking roses. No, yeah, and then listen, bro, your man's coming in. Bro, it blew eh? my mind. It's totally off topic, but I'm like, honestly, you know, Kit, Kit blew my mind earlier today. Uh, if you don't mind me going off topic, I just, I was... Back. Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you talk about Kit in a minute. You talk about Kit in a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something I heard yesterday. Uh, Rama said you didn't turn up on that fucking debate. And he only said it because it was not re- fucking recorded because it was one of Jake's spaces. It's Rama's safe space, by the way, Finn. Capture this one. Oh, I give the... Finn will be giving the one. Wait, the is there like drama with, between you and Rama no. now? No, there's not. It's no. banter. It's banter. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what wait, 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 wait. I missed? I didn't what, what, he, he, he said you didn't turn up for the... Basically, Rama, uh, and I'm not shitting, guys. This is the truth. There was many people in the room. I'm not shitting you. Uh, apparently, I heard... Uh, well, I heard. I heard Rama say that uh, it was great. The show like was great with Joe, but uh, you didn't turn up. That's basically what he said, like... Oh, like I, like I, like I didn't show out, like, like, uh, like I was promising I was going. I didn't need to. I no, no, no. He was just like, he was just like, well, I, I, you know, I, I was out there, but like the other, the other guy just didn't turn up, and I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. He was there with popcorn. You were there with no pants on. What are you talking about? Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> dude. Just... Tank sex uh, man hoodie with popcorn and Rama's dancing around the room with no pants on. I'm like, 
Bro, you you do know Cor- Corchesters were like really like appealing in the 14th century, like like literally. <laughs> like literally, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much more I could have turned up when I looked dead in the camera with my eye and told everybody in there, "Fuck your feelings." Like I don't know how much more oh. I could have turned it up. <laughs> did anybody cringe? What, did I, did what anybody are we cringe? talking wait, about? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Listen, there's there's one of two choices here. Either when you saw Rama dancing around with no trousers, you thought it was funny, or you thought it was cringy as fuck. That's up to year. I didn't give a fuck about year. I, I, I see shit and I'm like, fuck, I had to look away, man. I, like, yeah, I, like, yeah, funny, but like, more cringe than funny. And then your man Tang sitting in a hoodie, like, like just eating popcorn, like, yeah, yeah, bro, whatever. Like, and then, uh, what was what was Joe's? I mean, I know Joe was working on this. To be fair, Joe DM me stuff, saying like, oh, he's like, oh, what about these in rows? And I'm like, oh, Joe, be careful. Uh, what was it? Limousine liberal? Is that what he called? Dude, uh, he said lim- that was tears have tears. It was fucking classic. It was gold, bro. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He said I was an indoor salmon farmer investor, dude. I was oh. racking the fuck up. You know what the embarrassing thing is? The and I mean Finn's gonna cut. I'm gonna get Finn to cut this out. This is not gonna be in the recording. Well, the embarrassing fucking thing. Let me, give you, gonna, let me give you oh, some well, advice. No, no, wait. Robo. What was embarrassing? No, 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 Robo. As a video go editor, on, go on. do not ask someone to make an edit that's four hours into something. That is so much harder to find than something that's like near the start. And I would just like to remind Robo. Last time he said this in a recorded space because I listened back. He says, don't, don't think about it. Don't worry about it because Finn's going to edit this part out. He's going to cut it out. Don't worry about it. And I listened back to that, Robo. You saying that on a recorded Yeah, space. what are we paying Finn for here? Hold on. What are we paying Finn for here? Doesn't Reese's bot do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Finn and Reese. I tell you what. The Finn and Reese thing's been hilarious, right? Wait a minute. Winston, young man. Fuck, I need to put these dogs to bed, man, the bed. Dudes, I've had them out, he's, he, he's fucking, he's telling me he needs to go to bed. And I always do it. are kind of like working together now, right, though? Like, like Finn is doing certain yes. spaces where he gives extra treatment to, whereas Reese's bot captures all the others or something like that. I'll tell you what, Finn, I, I'm not going to shit you. Like, like, Finn is like literally like one of my fucking favorite people in the entire industry. And I can see other people down there, like Bonzi and that. Who like I've had like a lot of interactions with yeah, and and other people obviously like Brucey and Tank and yeah Timmy like this this is a, a side issue yeah, but honestly bro man the fucking if 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 we can do like it how can we do this like now where we are you've just seen the market like Tank and recently yeah now it's pumped in the last like few hours, like twenty four hours forty hours whatever but like bro man if you can be here shit talking right at the like. And they in this shit like for hours and hours and hours, and no one's getting bored. Like, who's complaining? Y'all having fun, right? You's all having fun, you motherfuckers, right? Oh, Tank, wait a minute, let's have some proper fun. Tank, hey, you got uh, declined by the uh, Atom Accelerator Grand Fund. Come on, let's start that fucker off for five minutes before no, we finish. Like, no, no, I mean, I, mean, I guess I'm saying I it. got declined, but we got declined. It's oh, yeah, fun, you oh. Uh, we're actually still. Oh. Still talking with them. We're gonna have a call with them uh, to kind of go over things as well. Um, but no, I, I just want to say I'm cheap. I found out I'm cheap. By the way, like I think you're, everybody thinks they're special until you find a doppelganger. Fucking kid, kid found this dude that looks exactly like me, and it blew my mind today. And he's into crypto too. It blew my. I see you, kid, down there. I see you. That fucked with my whole day. Already have a twin, and then there's somebody else that looks exact. He looks better than me. It blew my mind. Do you guys have you guys ever found your doppelganger? Yep, yep, I have, I have, and that was fucking weird. First time I found out, bro. It blo- like it's weird. It's, being a twin, you think I would be used to it, but like this dude looks exact. Kit Sherry, I don't know who this guy is, but Sherry, that dude looks exactly like me. Scary as shit. And why you, you knew about it and you didn't tell me earlier, kid. I feel like I'm cheap now. Like like people are just walking around with my goddamn face. Anyway, sorry, that blew my mind today. So funny story about finding out you have a double ganger, right? So I live right next to the biggest 
open but illegal weed market in Europe. So there's daily raids in there. A lot of gangsters, a lot of gangs, right? And there's a lot of culture around the place as well. So it's a nice place to hang around if you're not if you're not a criminal. Anyway, I was walking down the street. It's called Pusha Street for a reason. And one guy comes up to me and he goes like, hey, dude, here's your money. And then he just hands me this fucking paper bag, right? Filled with cash. And I've never seen this guy before. And I go, bro, no, the ain't for me. I'm not the right guy. And he's trying to give it, give it, give it, give this cash bag of cash to me all the fucking time. And I'm like, not mine, not mine, bro. You have me mistaken. Walk away. Two days later, I walk through Pusha Street again. And there I see my fucking self standing and selling weed. He looks like me on the fucking spot down to the fucking brown eyes and the long lashes. Same hairdo as well. Bald, both of us. That was weird. Yeah, blew my mind though. Blew my, I can't find it, but I'll have to definitely share it later. I'm telling you, this guy looks to a fucking T. Even better than my twin. He looks more of a my twin than my own twin. It was so scary, dude. I'm cheap. I'm throwing in the hat. I'm cheap. There's copies of me all over the damn place, apparently. Chinese knockoffs. Yep, made in, made in China. They're fucking everywhere, damn it. They're cheap. <laughs> anyway, Robo, I'm fucking beat after six hours of spaces today. Bro, I'm a ba- no, I'm a back. I'm I'm gonna fuck off. These dogs are going mad with me, like, but I got I got cut off there. Holy fuck. Wait a minute. <clears throat> we're, we're gonna have to fucking wind this down. I've got no one on the screen. I can't say who's here, who's not. Spit I've just like retweeted like the rogue. I'm getting proper rugged off. I think it's like Elon. Elon's like, you've been on like nearly six hours, you little bitch. Go on, fuck off. We're sick of you. Wait a minute, though. We have to say, like, a big thank you to everyone tonight. And I want everyone to know that we never want to antagonize everyone, uh, anyone. Uh, like, okay, it's, it's it, finding this justified line on, on blockchain and, and what's on chain and stuff like that is not easy, right? Well, we're trying to figure this out, but, like, Oh, how do I say this? I don't know. Uh, the people that I'm around and and what we've seen tonight and like the epicness of to like tonight is ridiculous. Like I can't, I can't even begin. To, when I wake up tomorrow, my fucking head's going to be filled with like so many fucking dreams and stuff like that, right? But to pull this off, like Bruce has talked about being tired, blah blah blah, and he did a he did like what Bruce did you know, an hour. Hour and twenty minutes earlier before there's a warm up here. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, no, no, it's not it. People will tell you. And Bruce, tell these people what's it like trying to book people? How how much hard work is it trying to organize these shows, guy? Right? Right? Nearly impossible, bro. Oh, so they have no idea, Bruce, like how many hours were you putting up? But you know something, kids? We're doing it for free. And we're doing it because you know why? We want to make shows that we want to listen to. And we like the first thing I'm gonna do when I wake up in the morning is, and because I'm off, I've got no work tomorrow. Robo's got a full free day. Trust me, I'll be skipping past like some bits, you know, when Sefi starts talking about AI for 35 minutes and shit like that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm only joking, Sefi, on the recording. If you're listening, pleb. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, can you believe I'm fucking around with Finn right now? He's gonna be so angry with me. Like, I can't believe it, Bruce. Let's end the space here. Who's still up here? I can't even see my screen's gone blank. I've just retweeted it. Who's still here? Have we got Tank? Have we got Timmy? Who's still here? Got Tank, we got Timmy, we got Jacob. Yeah, we're living. Hi. Hey, good luck. Honestly, listen, all your plebs in blockchain and doing what you're doing and grinding and hustling and blah, 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 producing. Keep doing it, man. Like, literally, I've learned that, like, when, you, when you're not an investor, do player, when you're a producer, Don't it's do it too hard, hard though. Work, bro. Don't do it too hard, though, apparently, because you'll give yourself a seizure, is what I learned. So... <laughs> Moderation is key in life. I'm fucking glad you're feeling better, though, bro. Like, fuck <laughs> yeah, bro. Thank you. I... 
much much to catch up on but yeah for anyone who doesn't know i've been like not around for the longest time because i had a a stress induced seizure is their best guess like i'm not an epileptic so i don't really know why it happened but but yeah (laughs) so keep grinding but in moderation life is about balance That's my that's my yogi message for today. Hey fucker, I still would. Don't let me forget. I would love to have you on and do that TA. Two men in a two men in a chart. Yes. Let's I knock on wood. I should be like having a lot of more time freed up um next week or the following. So we'll definitely set something up. But <laughs> two men one chart coming at you. <laughs> I don't know why I, I like have a little chill, like ugh, every single time I say in reference to that. Oh, wow, wow, god awful freaking. God, deal. what should we do? Actually, let's. What should we like? Each we put twenty five bucks into a shared account and like only make decided trades together or something. Like, and that so would we be fun. Have... That would be super fun, actually. There yeah. Use yeah. use DAO use DAO tooling or something with it. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I want to trade with stop limits and stop losses and with assets of all kinds. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Robo, let's end this. All right, yeah. Robo, you're going to do an outro or what? He's getting wrecked. He's getting so fucking Dude, he's already dead. He outroed. <laughs> anyway, I'm fucking beat, man. It's been. Such a long day. Just been out hustling, grinding, having meetings. I have like ten people who wants wants to make uh, wants me to make proposals for them to different foundations and community pools out in the real world. We'll go get to work, motherfuckers. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Bye. Bye, you little rascal. Nice. I'm gonna I'm tell you something. Dumb. When the world starts to get really bad and these mugs out here robbing, you gonna love digital currency. All these motherfuckers, they be running and gunning, and I'm all like, I'm sitting back just having fun in the sun, and then I'm like one out of a hundred. I'm just building up on it to some of everything we built during the last hundred upsets. You're getting salty, feeling faulty. You ain't no man. I keep Robo here, grinning near the ear, throwing up anarchy, smoking toilet trees. In philosophies, look at the dossier. We rack like geology. There's layers to this shit, like it's sedimentary. All these little onion peels getting torn off and buried. Imagine the smell. That shit is a vital experience without knowing how you will not survive. Period. Uh, <laughs> he's a fucking trip, man. To me, if you to me, if you listen to this, right, you're getting absolutely fucking ripped to death, like on a spaceship of a life, you little troglodyte bastard. I hope you fucking listen, I hope you come to my house son. I swear to God man, I've got fucking loads of weapons and my dogs man. You, you just a little rat man, go on, fuck off man, do one, fuck off. Harmony, me and the one, do you looking for a fucking job? You fucking idiot, you've just been fucking at my best, fuck off. Try to change the course of the portion philosophy I'm just here for the corporation sponsor But bottom me feels like I won the lottery Like I'm ghosting this pottery Chill, Demi Boy, the shit's supposed to be haunting If it wasn't, ain't no puzzle You would try to train your muscle Air dropping like a fatal hustle But the pay is busting Think of all the loss of crew Just to pick up off the tricky custom I figured all those sub downs Would make up for something I guess it just goes to show The fuck do I know? At least it's quiet over here I like my little silo It's better than watching them fight over How to divide my time between Sitting at the desk and the ride home Devs at Mickey D's, they leeching off that Wi-Fi Zapdos and Mole, they shipping more than five guys Console open, waiting for the kamikaze When the flash phone bang, they feeling like paparazzi Snapshot motherfuckers We got layers, meteora jawbreaker We cracking a lot of craters We rapping a lot of pay dirt Maxing out relayers Imagine the smell, five dollar wrench to your Darth Vader It's, it's really funny uh, to us at Binance That everyone here is talking about uh, blockchain attack. We know who all the validators are. We know, who, we know where they live. And, we and we're going to their house. We're going to their range. To their house. big range. And we will attack them at the range. And then we will take their validator node physically and put it in a truck and drive it to China. Right, so this is an extension of the, the activities you performed on, on BTC, right? 
uh, funding and creating these massive uh, Bitcoin mines, putting them in caves, putting them in, in uh, factories that were abandoned in the past, and also using electromagnetic pulse bombs to detonate uh, the USA and the other country mines, right? So you're now applying this strategy to, to Lunk uh, in order to take over the chain, is that correct? Uh, it's more simple. There's no uh, EMP bomb. It's just a van of men in uh, Balaclava and they have wrench and they're taking the physical validators from people's houses. They are usually very fat and they're usually uh, in the shower with, you know, with trying to wash uh, their mice uh, droppings off their uh, clothes. So it's very simple. We just walk in and we take it. But if there is someone who is sitting at the computer or sleeping at the computer, we, uh, we hit them with the wrench really, really hard. And then they say, stop, don't do that again. And we say, that's okay. Just mm -hmm. give us your validator note and then they give it to us and we drive it to China. In a way, I can't close this space down, man. He's the host. I don't know what to do. It's been a great you've space. Done, you've done your work. You can walk away. Whatever happens is in Elon's hands now. Yeah, I think you're right, man. Chamber Spaces.